Ramirez, 6'2", 235, a junior from Fort Worth, Texas. And then on the offensive line for the Bulldogs, the left tackle is Corey Gans, 6'6", 245, a junior from Enid, Oklahoma. Brandon Rowe is the left guard, 6'3", 315, senior from Choctaw, Oklahoma. Justin Bigelow, 6'2", 275, a senior out of Denison, Texas, is the center for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The right guard is Brock Mason, 6'1", 295, a freshman from Tuttle, Oklahoma. And the right tackle is Carlton, or Calton Baker. He is out of Van Cleve, Mississippi, 6'3", 305. He is a junior. Now on the defensive side of the ball for Southwestern Oklahoma State, in that 3-4 alignment, the defensive ends are T.J. Harris, 6'2", 240, a senior from Midfield, Alabama, and D.J. Johnson, 5'11", 275, senior, Midwest City, Oklahoma. The nose guard is Jonathan Harris, 6'2", 285, sophomore, Tulsa, Oklahoma. The linebackers for Southwestern Oklahoma State are Braden Sweet, 5'10", 195, junior, Perry, Oklahoma. Clay Wilkerson, 6'2", 215, senior, Rockwall, Texas. Jacob Rodman, 6'1", 215, junior, Wichita, Kansas. And Garrett Kilpatrick, 6'1", 210, a freshman from Yukon, Oklahoma. The cornerbacks for Southwestern Oklahoma State are Darian Richards, 5'10", 170, sophomore from Mustang, Oklahoma, and Jalen Carr, 5'10", 170, freshman from Longview, Texas. The safeties for the Bulldogs are Gerald White, 5'8", 185, junior from Tipton, Oklahoma, and DeAndre Scott, 6'190", freshman from Ardmore, Oklahoma. Now the starters for the homestanding Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, coached by Raymond Monica, 33 and 31 in six seasons at Arkansas Tech. His career record is 97 and 76 in 13 years as a head coach overall. Starting on the offensive side of the ball for the Wonder Boys, the quarterback is Carter Burcham, 6'3", 196. He is a redshirt freshman out of Greenbrier. The running back is Brian Allen, 5'11", 191, senior, Forest City. The halfback, Chris Eastburn, 6'2", 244, senior from Piercy. The tight end, Austin McNeely, 6'5", 216, sophomore from Pottsville. At wide receiver, Therese Hampton, 6'193", senior, Warren. And Tramel Glasper, 6'1", 190, senior, Dallas, Texas. On the offensive line for the Wonder Boys, the left tackle is Trey Bradley, 6'4", 270, a senior from Conway. Damon Nelson is the left guard, 6'3", 340, sophomore Springdale. Myron Henderson is the center, 6'2", 280, sophomore Memphis, Tennessee. At right guard, it's Drew Turner, 6'4", 315, junior Russellville. And the right tackle is Christian Mayer, 6'5", 290, sophomore Muskogee, Oklahoma. Now the defensive starters for Arkansas Tech in a 4-2-5 alignment. The defensive ends are Jared Loftus, 6 foot 242, a senior from Dallas, Texas, and Brian Scott, 6'3", 242, a senior from Nacogdoches, Texas. The interior defensive linemen are George Brooks, 6'2", 280, freshman from Allen, Texas, and T.J. McPherson, 6'1", 265, junior, out of Jackson, Mississippi. Linebackers, Geo Williams, 6'1", 210, sophomore, Denton, Texas, and K.J. Reed, 6'1", 219, senior, Texarkana. The safeties for the Wonder Boys are Andrew Craig, 6'197", senior from Corinth, Texas, and Alex Chambers, 5'11", 164, sophomore from Conway. The cornerbacks are DJ Williams, 5'8", 189, junior, Mobile, Alabama, and D.O. Williams, 6'1", 188, sophomore from Denton, Texas. The rover is Quay Rose, 5'10", 183, a senior, from McGee. Those are the starters as the Wonder Boys and the Bulldogs get set for their 15th all-time meeting. The series between these two programs is tied at seven wins apiece, and we will break that tie here this afternoon at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field as Arkansas Tech University celebrates homecoming 2018 and the 
specialness of this moment taken up an, an, even another notch by the fact that we are joined today by a very special guest for the coin toss. The 46th governor of Arkansas, the Honorable Asa Hutchinson, is here to participate in the coin toss, and they will do that while we step aside for this last break before kickoff. We'll step aside for one minute plus a station ID and then come back for the Wonder Boys and the Bulldogs from the Team Clean Broadcast booth. This is Arkansas Tech Football. This is one of six Great American Conference football games this week. Five of those games being played today as we enter week eight of the college football season for the year 2018. The first game of the week was actually played on Thursday night down in Arkadelphia. Washita Baptist remained undefeated by defeating Southern Nazarene by a final score of 41 to nothing on Thursday night at Cliff Harris Stadium. And so the Washita Tigers improved to 8-0 and on the season. The other Great American Conference games this week all being played today. This game between Arkansas Tech and Southwestern Oklahoma State here in Russellville. Down in, or I should say over in Searcy. It is Northwestern Oklahoma State visiting Harding University. Southeastern Oklahoma State is in Arkadelphia to take on the Henderson State Reddies. Down in Magnolia, the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders are playing host to the East Central Tigers. And down in Monticello, it's UAM hosting Oklahoma Baptist. So all of the Great American Conference games being played inside the state of Arkansas here today. This one is a matchup of two, two and five teams still harboring hopes of a winning overall record, but both knowing they will have to run the table in order to do so. And one of them will try to start a four game winning streak to end 2018 here this afternoon. It'll be Carson French to kick it away for the Wonder Boys. Arkansas Tech won the opening toss, which was administered by Governor Asa Hutchinson, and the Wonder Boys deferred their option until the second half. And as Carson French gets set to kick this away, he will have a little bit of a breeze at his back coming in from the south on this warm fall day in Russellville. Temperatures expected to top out in the low to mid-70s here today. Back deep to return for Southwestern Oklahoma State and waiting at his own one-yard line, it is Jared Rayburn. French approaches the football and sends it on its way, a line drive kick that will be fielded by Rayburn two yards deep. He brings it out, 10, 15, 20, sidestep to the left over the 25 and up to the 31-yard line goes Jared Rayburn, special team stop made for Arkansas Tech by Jant Weary, a senior defensive back out of Mesquite, Texas. And it'll be first down and 10 for Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 31-yard line to get this one underway. The Bulldogs, ninth in the GAC in scoring at 20.7 points per game. They are 10th in the league in total offense, 316.3 yards per game. Their strength has been throwing the football. They average 207 passing yards per game, which is right in the middle of the pack in the Great American Conference. Their quarterback is Casey Freeman. He brings Rayburn in motion. Fakes a handoff, option play left, Freeman keeps out over the 35 and up near the 40-yard line goes quarterback Casey Freeman. Stop made for Arkansas Tech by Chris Kale, Gary Burton, and D.J. Williams. They make the stop at the 40-yard line following a gain of nine, and it is second down and one for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Bulldogs have not run the football very effectively this year, averaging just 109 rushing yards per game. That ranks 10th among the 12 GAC members. Play action fake, Freeman throws across the middle and it is batted away incomplete. There to provide the coverage for Arkansas Tech was D.O. Williams on the intended receiver, J.R. Omiji. Omiji is easily Southwestern Oklahoma State's top receiver this year with 24 catches. 
478 yards. That's an average of 19.9 yards per reception. And he also leads the team in touchdown catches with four. So now it's third down and one for Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 40. Freeman brings a man in motion. It is a delayed handoff. He gives it running left, and it's going to be tripped up, I believe, short of the first down on the carry by Jaden Knowles, slicing through to make that tackle for Arkansas Tech. Hunter Hudson was there, along with Gary Burton and Quay Rose, all on the scene to help drop Jaden Knowles short of the yard to gain. It is fourth down and a little bit less than a yard, and Southwestern Oklahoma State is not lined up in punt formation yet. Getting set to take a direct snap is Jared Rayburn, and Rayburn will, in fact, run for it. He goes left and will have the first down and more down the far sideline into Arkansas Tech territory and planted out of bounds by Arkansas Tech's Tyrus Fort. Fort making the tackle on the far sideline, the freshman with the stop at the Arkansas Tech 41-yard line, but it is a gain of 19 yards on the keeper by Rayburn as he took the direct snap and went around left end on fourth and one. Southwestern Oklahoma State with that conversion is now almost 50% on the year on fourth down conversion tries. Option play right, Freeman pitches it out, running down the near boundary and out of bounds is Jaden Knowles, forced out of bounds by Arkansas Tech's DJ Williams. And Knowles will be spotted out of bounds at the Arkansas Tech 36. It's a gain of five on the play. And it'll be second down and five for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Freeman works from the shotgun. He's got three receivers to his left, one to his right. Joined in the backfield by Jaden Knowles. Freeman has the snap, fakes the handoff, throws left, complete to Rayburn. Jared Rayburn immediately stuck as soon as he made the catch. Tackle made for Arkansas Tech by Chris Kale. Kale able to get Rayburn down at the 35-yard line for a gain of just one. And that will bring up third down and four for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The line of scrimmage is the Arkansas Tech 35. The Bulldogs came into the day averaging 32.3% on their third down conversion tries. That is seventh in the Great American Conference. Freeman from the shotgun. Needs to get to the Tech 31 to pick up the first down here on third down and four. Throws across the middle. It is caught for a first down at the 15-yard line, and they're going to add a penalty flag on the end of it. Reception made by Andre Bonner as he leaped high to make that catch at the 15-yard line, and as he was taken down to the turf by the Arkansas Tech defender, Dio Williams, an official behind the play threw a penalty flag indicating most likely either a face mask or a horse collar tackle. We'll see which one they've got, or perhaps something entirely different. It is a personal foul face mask against Arkansas Tech, and so that'll be enforced half the distance to the goal. It'll put the football at the eight-yard line. And from there, it'll be first down and goal for Southwestern Oklahoma State with 12.09 to go in a scoreless first quarter on homecoming 2018 at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. Casey Freeman is the quarterback on first and goal. from the Two receivers to his left, three to his right. Empty backfield. Freeman looks to be changing the play. Offensive linemen turning their heads to get the new call. Freeman now awaiting the snap. Brings a man in motion. He hands it or fakes the handoff to that man. Freeman keeps and will be dropped for a loss. Tackled back to the 11-yard line. Quay Rover, the All-America Rover out of McGee, Arkansas with the tackle. It'll make it second down and goal for Southwestern. The red zone has been a difficult proposition for both of these offenses this year. There are 172 NCAA Division II members playing football in the United States and Canada this year, and of those, Arkansas Tech is 150, or 161st in the nation in red zone offense efficiency. Southwestern is 158th. Bulldogs trying to avoid a continuation of those woes here, but they're going the wrong direction. It's tackle for a loss on Jaden Knowles. This time on the stop for Arkansas Tech, it was Dio Williams as he drops Knowles for a loss of five back to the 16-yard line. And so the Bulldogs, since reaching the red zone, have run two plays, and they've backed up eight yards. And now they face third down and goal from the 16-yard line. And as Coach Monica referenced in the pregame interview, neither of these teams have excelled in field goal attempts this year. They are a combined six out of 19 on field goal attempts this season. Third and goal from the 16. Freeman has the snap. 
rolls the pocket right. Now a throwback to a wide open man on the far side of the field. Catch made inside the 15 and running untouched down the far boundary and into the end zone for a southwestern Oklahoma State touchdown. It is the tight end, Alex Ramirez, as Casey Freeman rolled the pocket right, got everybody moving that direction, and then slipping out all on his own on the far side of the field was Alex Ramirez. And all that Casey Freeman had to do was put enough air underneath it to give Ramirez a chance to catch it. He did that, and Casey Freeman has his 13th touchdown pass of the season. Now they go for two on a little bit of an unusual formation. They go for two, and Tyler Marr completes the two-point conversion pass, making the reception for Southwestern Oklahoma State. It's the same man who caught the touchdown pass, Alex Ramirez. He was lined up in the slot right as they had all of their blockers lined up to the far side of the field. And rather than shifting them down and getting into extra point formation, they went for two. And Tyler Marr able to complete that pass to Ramirez. And so our new score with 10 minutes and 28 seconds to go in the first quarter is Southwestern Oklahoma State 8 and Arkansas Tech 0. Here in the Team Clean Broadcast booth, we pause for one minute. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. The scoring drive for Southwestern Oklahoma State, 10 plays, 69 yards. It took 4 minutes and 32 seconds and resulted in the 16-yard touchdown pass from Casey Freeman to Alex Ramirez. And now kicking it away for Southwestern Oklahoma State will be Ryan Buchanan. Right-footed junior sends a line drive to Brian Allen, who fields it at the four-yard line, out over the 10, the 15, the 20. Sidesteps one man, 25-30, down the near boundary and tackled out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Special team stop made by Darius Franklin of Southwestern Oklahoma State. And the Wonder Boys will have good field position to begin their first possession of the day. Southwestern Oklahoma State leads 8 to nothing after that touchdown pass by Freeman. And the subsequent two-point two conversion pass from Tyler Marr to the same man, Alex Ramirez. Manny Harris gets his first career start as a wonder boy at quarterback. He fakes the handoff, throws near side, complete to Therese Hampton. Hampton is forced out of bounds with an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down at the 48-yard line. A pickup of 13 yards on the first down pass from Manny Harris to Therese Hampton. Hampton came into the day fifth in the league in receptions at five per game and third in the conference in receiving yards at 82.9 per game. And the Wonder Boys move the chains on their first snap. Man in motion is Trey Smith. He lines up in the slot right. They pitch it out that direction for Brian Allen. Allen lowers his head and is tackled at the 49-yard line following a gain of one by Jonathan Harris, sophomore defensive lineman for Southwestern Oklahoma State out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. The gain of one makes it second down and nine for Arkansas Tech from its own 49-yard line, 9.34 to go. First quarter, Southwestern Oklahoma State leads 8 to nothing. Manny Harris sets up a little screen, complete out in the flat for Brian Allen. Allen will be tackled after a short gain. He's able to lean forward with the football up to the 50-yard line. D.J. Johnson had the tackle for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The last two plays have gained one yard each, and so it is third and eight for the Wonder Boys, and the line of scrimmage is the 50. Arkansas Tech came into the day ninth in the conference in third down conversion rate at 31.6%. Manny Harris on third and eight, has some time, throws near side. Therese Hampton tries to get his hands underneath that football, does so, makes the catch at the Southwestern 40. It's a gain of 10 on third down and eight. And the second, Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings, first down of the day, B-dubs, where every day is game day. It's first and 10 Wonder Boys at the Southwestern Oklahoma State 40. Manny Harris fakes the handoff, running room left. 
He is upended over the 37-yard line, and they'll give him the 36 for a gain of four. Tackle made for Southwestern by Gerald White. And it'll be second down and six, Arkansas Tech from the Southwestern Oklahoma State 36-yard line. 8.26 to go first quarter. And into the game to take the snap here for the Wonder Boys, it'll be Tanner Gaines, the sophomore out of Hector. He fumbles the snap, picks it up, avoids the rush, goes left. He's being pursued by three Southwestern defenders, able to get to the boundary and forced out of bounds by Jacob Rodman. And a great job there by Tanner Gaines to make something out of nothing as he is able to gain four yards on what otherwise would have been a busted play. Advancing the football to the Southwestern 32. And from there, it'll be third down and two for Arkansas Tech. Manny Harris checks back in at quarterback. Andrew Carter is in at wide receiver. He and Therese Hampton go to the right side of the formation. Brian Allen is the running back. Chris Eastburn, the halfback, is to the right side of the formation. Open field left on third down and two. Screen pass, Harris to Allen, complete at the 35, the 30, and he will step out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Will Brian Allen, he is out of bounds at the 27-yard line with a gain of five, and it's another Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. 7.45 to play first quarter, and the Wonder Boys trying to answer that touchdown by Southwestern Oklahoma State on its first possession of the day. Tanner Gaines shaken up on that play that he was in and being tended to on the Arkansas Tech sideline by Duke Walden, head athletic trainer at Arkansas Tech University. Brian Allen with a straight-ahead run, meanwhile, inside the 25 and down to the 24-yard line. Allen picks up three yards. It'll be second down and seven. Brian Allen came into the day with 3,317 career rushing yards, third most in the history of Arkansas Tech football. Manny Harris on second down, sets, being rushed, throws across the middle, complete to Tremel Glasper at the 15, and he is tackled there. Stop made in the open field for Southwestern Oklahoma State. At the 15-yard line by Braden Sweet, it's enough for another Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down, a gain of nine on second down and seven, and the Wonder Boys are in the red zone where this year they have converted on 12 of 22 scoring opportunities. That's 55% of those 22 chances inside the red zone. Ten have resulted in touchdowns. The Wonder Boys last in the GAC in red zone offense. Harris throws into the end zone, incomplete beyond the reach of his intended receiver over on the far side of the end zone. It was Brian Allen. And the incompletion will make it second down and 10, Arkansas Tech. The line of scrimmage remains the Bulldogs 15. 6.35 to go in the first quarter as the Southwestern Oklahoma State defense makes a couple of substitutions. Justin Bailey has checked in the backfield. He and Brian Allen to either side of quarterback Manny Harris. Hand off to Brian Allen, and he never had a chance. Stuffed in the backfield by, among others, Southwestern Oklahoma State's Colton Bowie. Bowie is a junior defensive lineman. He calls San Angelo, Texas home, 6'3", 275. He stops Brian Allen back at the 16-yard line for a loss of one. It is third and 11 for the Wonder Boys. Three receivers left, one to the right for quarterback Manny Harris. Takes the snap, has time. Now pocket collapsing, he rolls right and throws it away. And we'll see if Carson French and the field goal unit come onto the field for Arkansas Tech. That will be the case. And we'll see where they spot this when it looks like it'll be approximately a 34-yard field goal try for Carson French from the right hash mark. French, so far this season in his freshman campaign at Arkansas Tech University, has converted on one of three field goal tries, the Wonder Boys as a team are three out of 11 on field goal attempts this season. This will be a 33-yard try out of a hold by Landon Smith from the right hash mark, kicking toward the north goal and the hole building. The placement is down. The field goal attempt is away. It is long enough, and it is no good. Wide to the right, did not hook enough, and with five minutes and 53 seconds to go in the first quarter, our score remains Southwestern Oklahoma State 8 Arkansas Tech Zero, and here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we will step aside for, I believe we'll step aside for one minute. No indication of a timeout yet from the official. Generally, at this point, you would have an official's timeout, but that is not going to be the case here, so we'll keep it right here. And Southwestern Oklahoma State will go on offense for the second time. Their first possession resulted in a 10-play, 69-yard scoring drive, capped off by a 16-yard touchdown pass from Casey Freeman to Alex Ramirez. First and 10, Southwestern from its own 20-yard line following the missed field goal by Arkansas Tech. Now whistles and penalty flags 
And it's a question of whether it is a false start against Southwestern or if the Wonder Boys jumped offside and made contact. It was Arkansas Tech that was the guilty party. That will cost the Wonder Boys five yards. Second penalty against Arkansas Tech for a total of 12 yards. Moves the football up to the 25-yard line of Southwestern Oklahoma State. And from there, from there, the Bulldogs will have first and five. Casey Freeman waits in a shotgun formation. Two receivers to his right. He's joined in the backfield by Jaden Knowles. Freeman wants to throw across the middle. It is caught at midfield. Reception made by Kevin Fox, Jr. He will be marked down, stumbling into Arkansas Tech territory at the 47-yard line. It is a gain of 33 on the bullet, or I should say a gain of 28 on the bullet across the middle from Casey Freeman to Kevin Fox, Jr. And the Bulldogs are back in Arkansas Tech territory, first and 10 at the 47-yard line. Two receivers right, one to the left. Jaden Knowles, the running back, shifts over to the right side of quarterback Casey Freeman. Freeman awaits the snap. Knowles goes back to his left. Man in motion is Zach Hill. He goes over to the left side of the formation. Play clock at 16, so they've got plenty of time. Freeman awaits the snap. Now Hill comes back in motion to the right. They hand it off to Knowles. Knowles goes up the middle and will advance the football to the 43-yard line for a gain of four before he is stopped. K.J. Reed among the Wonder Boys in on that stop. Reed came into the day with 260 career tackles, second most among the active Wonder Boys. The Wonder Boys active leader in tackles on a career indication comes into the year, or comes into the day, I should say, was Quay Rose with 275 career stops. And now Casey Freeman fakes a handoff on second down, runs right with it and carries the football to the 40, but it's likely going to come back on a penalty flag. And it was thrown in a spot where you would not be surprised to see possibly a holding call against Southwestern Oklahoma State. Instead, it looks like it's going to be a false start. Had too many players in the backfield in the estimation of the officiating crew by rule. And so that will back them up five yards. And it will put the football at the Arkansas Tech 48-yard line. And Oklahoma State will face second down and 12. Four minutes and 32 seconds to go first quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State 8, Arkansas Tech 0 from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville as we celebrate homecoming 2018 at Arkansas Tech University. Great crowd on hand on a beautiful afternoon. Freeman fakes the pass after the pump fake goes left and is tackled by Arkansas Tech. The penalty flag is down. Making that tackle for a gain of 2 to the 46. Now we see what the penalty flag is all about. And here comes our referee to let us know. Looking over to the southwestern sideline, an indication the penalty, I thought it was going to be an indication the penalty was against Arkansas Tech, but it's instead against the Bulldogs. And so that'll cost southwestern 10 yards back into their own end of the field now. The ball will be spotted at the 43-yard line. Nope, now they can change their mind and put it at the 44. So they got credit for that gain of two on the run, and then the penalty occurring at the 46-yard line. They enforced the penalty from there. It remains second down. It is second down and 20 as Freeman sets to throw across the middle. Batted down, incomplete, and almost intercepted by Trey Chisholm, who got his hands on it at the 41-yard line, batting it down. Chisholm, sophomore defensive lineman out of Little Rock, breaking up that pass and bringing up third down and long for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Bulldogs so far today are two out of three on third down conversion tries. But they've got a long way to go here, third and 20 from their own 44-yard line. They need to get to the Arkansas Tech 36 in order to pick up the first down. Of course, they've also already gone for it on fourth down once today. Freeman under pressure, and he will be sacked and down by Arkansas Tech's Richard Butler, they will give him some forward progress back up to the 43-yard line, so just a loss of one on the quarterback sack by Richard Butler as the junior out of Clinton, Maryland, a transfer from Monroe College, comes through to make the stop for the Wonder Boys. And on fourth and 21, Southwestern Oklahoma State will line up in punt formation for the first time today. Kane Bowen is the Bulldog punter. He's averaging 38.4 yards per punt this season, which ranks ninth in the Great American Conference. Back deep to return for the Wonder Boys is Tyrus Fort. Left-footed punt is away. 
and it will go over Fort's head, and it will roll down near the goal line. Can Southwestern keep it out of the end zone? Oh, my goodness, they can. Inside the one-yard line, Southwestern Oklahoma State able to down that Kane Bowen punt that traveled 56 yards, and the Wonder Boys with awful field position inside their own one-yard line with 3.07 to go in the first quarter, and Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 8 to nothing. Manny Harris leads the Arkansas Tech offense back onto the field. The Wonder Boys were able to move inside the red zone on their first possession before they were turned away, and then a missed field goal eliminated the scoring opportunity for Arkansas Tech. Harris in a pistol formation, standing in his own end zone. Hands to Brian Allen. Allen up the middle, 5, 10, 15, 20. Allen to the 25, the 30, being pursued by two Bulldogs, and they will catch him and force him out of bounds at the 47-yard line. It is a gain of 46 for Brian Allen. Allen now with 48 rushing yards on the day. He is 46 yards away from surpassing the great Eddie Metter and moving into second place on the all-time career rushing list at Arkansas Tech. And he gives the Wonder Boys an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down at their own 47. Another handoff to Allen. Allen goes left, somehow not winded by that run a moment ago, able to carry the football up to the 50 for a pickup of three. And it'll be second down and seven from there. Justin Bailey checks in as they will now give Brian Allen a breather. Isaac Disney has checked in at wide receiver. He's in the slot right. Tramel Glasper also to the right side of the formation. Therese Hampton is out wide to the left. Harris turns, hands to Justin Bailey. Bailey runs through one Southwestern defender and carries the football into Bulldog territory down to the 47. A pickup of three. And it will bring up third down and four. Now they're going to put it at the 46, so third down and three. For the Wonder Boys, Chris Eastburn checks back in at halfback, replacing Caleb Dean. Manny Harris awaits the snap on third down and three. Needs to get to the Bulldog, 43. Harris rolls right, throws, catch is made by Tramel Glasper, and he should have enough for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down, and he does. A gain of four on third down and three. The Wonder Boys are now three out of four on third down conversion tries this afternoon, and they've got it first and 10 at the Southwestern 42 with a minute 31 to play in the first quarter, and Southwestern Oklahoma State leading eight to nothing. Manny Harris, screen pass, complete to Isaac Disney. Disney, blocked by Tramel Glasper, brings him down to the 30-yard line. They're going to spot him down at the 30. The gain on the play is 12. It is another Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down, and the Wonder Boys once again on the move. Landon Smith checks in at wide receiver. He'll be to the right side of the formation, along with Isaac Disney. Andrew Carter is the receiver left. Manny Harris in a pistol formation with Brian Allen behind him. Fakes to Allen. Harris rolls right. Harris throws downfield, has a man. Catch is made. Inbounds inside the 20-yard line. Landon Smith makes the grab at the 17. A gain of 13 yards. Another Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. And the Wonder Boys are back in the red zone where they are 0 for 1 today. And now 12 out of 23 converting these scoring opportunities this season. Manny Harris in the early going. Now 8 out of 10 for 67 yards. Here Brian Allen gets the football running left and he'll be tackled for a loss. Back to the 21-yard line, a loss of four on the play. As Southwestern had that one read well from the word go and Garrett Kilpatrick led the effort to make the stop. They get Allen down at the 21. And it brings up second down and 14. Allen now with six carries for 47 yards on the afternoon. 46 of those coming on one play. Down to eight seconds left in the quarter, and the Wonder Boys will allow it to expire. The Wonder Boys will have it second down and 14 from the Southwestern 21. When we begin the second quarter, the Bulldogs lead the Wonder Boys 8 to nothing here in the Team Clean broadcast booth. We pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football.
for the DAC Mayo Scholar Athlete of the Year. Checking other early scorers around the Great American Conference. Harding late in the first quarter leads Northwestern Oklahoma State 7 to nothing in Arkadelphia. It's Southeastern Oklahoma State midway through the first quarter with a 7 nothing lead over Henderson State. East Central and Southern Arkansas meeting today in Magnolia. No report from that one yet. I believe that was set for a 2.30 kickoff. And then a little bit later it'll be Oklahoma Baptist and UA Monticello meeting in the other Great American Conference game. We've completed one quarter here in Russellville, southwestern Oklahoma State, with the 8 to nothing lead, but the Wonder Boys with a scoring threat, second down and 14 at the Bulldog 21-yard line. Harris takes the snap. Manny Harris looking to throw, being pursued from behind and sacked, taken down at the 30-yard line for a loss of nine yards. The quarterback sack recorded by Garrett Kilpatrick of southwestern Oklahoma State University. Kilpatrick picks up his first quarterback sack of the season, his second tackle for a loss this year. And that will bring up now third down and 22 for, or I should say third down and 23 for Arkansas Tech from the Southwestern 30-yard line. Manny Harris takes the snap, screen pass complete to, and then dropped by Brian Allen. Allen trying to catch that one out of the backfield and couldn't get his hands around it. It brings up fourth and 23, and it looks like it'll be Carson French and the field goal unit for Arkansas Tech that will come out and attempt what will be a 47-yard field goal from the middle of the field between the hash marks. It'll be a 47-yard try into the wind, which is coming in from the south. French over field goal try so far today. And on the season, now one out of four. His one make was from 45 yards. This from 47. The kick is away. It will be long enough but it is wide to the right, no good. And so the Wonder Boys for the second time today reach the red zone and come away with no points. Arkansas Tech now falls to 50% on red zone scoring opportunities this season, 12 out of 24, and that and the turnover margin has really told the story this season for this Wonder Boys team. With that, we get a timeout on the field, 14-18 to go, second quarter, Southwestern Oklahoma State to nothing. Here in the Team Clean Broadcast booth, we pause for one minute. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. Southwestern Oklahoma State with the football, first and 10 from its own 30-yard line. The running back is Jaden Knowles. Casey Freeman, the quarterback, brings a man in motion. That's D.J. Hicks. They hand it to Knowles. Knowles goes up the middle and will gain one yard to the 31. Now a little bit of extra pushing and shoving after the play, but no penalty flags. Trey Chisholm and Gary Burton in on that stop for Arkansas Tech. It'll be second down and nine for Southwestern from its own 31-yard line. The Bulldogs lead the Wonder Boys 8 to nothing early in the second quarter. Hand off to Knowles, and he is dropped for a loss this time. Trey Chisholm makes the stop at the 30-yard line for a loss of one. And it'll be third down and 10 from there for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Chisholm came into the day with 20 tackles this season, including two and a half for a loss. Drops Knowles there to bring up third down and 10 for Southwestern Oklahoma State as George Brooks checks out on the Arkansas Tech defensive line. Richard Butler, Trey Chisholm, among the Wonder Boys up front here. Wonder Boys only have three down linemen here on third down and 10. May drop eight into coverage. 
Now they're going to bring a blitz. Freeman under pressure, throws across the middle, incomplete. K.J. Reed coming through on the blitz, put the pressure on him and forced Freeman to unload that before he was ready. As a result, his, att his pass attempt for J.R. Omiji was off target. And on fourth down and ten after a quick three and out, a possession that lasted just one minute and seven seconds, Southwestern Oklahoma State will have to punt it away on fourth down and ten. Tyrus Fort waits at the Arkansas Tech 29-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the Southwestern 30. As Kane Bowen gets set to punt it away. Bulldogs really spread out along the offensive front here. Wonder Boys are going to come after this punt. Bowen gets it away, angling it toward the near sideline. Fort calls for and does not make a fair catch. It lands and takes a little bit of a southwestern Oklahoma State bounce and roll before coming to rest at the 22-yard line. It is a punt of 48 yards by Kane Bowen, and it'll be first and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 22-yard line when we come back. 12.57 to play, second quarter, southwestern Oklahoma State 8, Arkansas Tech 0. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we break for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Football. Manny Harris on first and 10 from his own 22. Play action fake, rolls right and lobs it out of bounds as he was under a heavy rush. Southwestern Oklahoma State's Johnson Miller pursuing him from behind and forced Manny Harris to throw that one away into the Arkansas Tech sideline. And so it'll be second down and 10 for the Wonder Boys from their own 22-yard line, 12.51 to play, second quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State 8 and Arkansas Tech 0. Tanner Gaines has his right ankle heavily iced on the Arkansas Tech sideline. I would say it is extremely unlikely that Tanner Gaines will be able to return here today for the Wonder Boys. On second down, Manny Harris hands it off. Running left was Brian Allen. He has stopped for a loss of one back to the 21-yard line. It brings up third down and 11. The Wonder Boys will send in Trey Smith as an extra wide receiver replacing halfback Chris Eastburn. Smith will go to the far side of the formation along with Isaac Disney and Tramel Glasper. Therese Hampton is lined up in the slot right. 12-18 to go second quarter. Manny Harris takes the snap, throws to the far side. It is incomplete. It went through the hands of Southwestern Oklahoma State defensive back Darius Franklin, and then off that deflection, it very nearly went right into the waiting arms of Isaac Disney, the, who was the intended receiver on the play for Arkansas Tech, but instead it falls incomplete. And the Wonder Boys go three and out and will be forced to punt it away on fourth and 11 from their own 21-yard line. It will be the first punt of the day for Arkansas Tech's Tyler Dunlop. Dunlop, fourth in the Great American Conference in punting average this year at 41.2 yards per attempt. Good snap. Punt is away. And it will land in southwestern territory at the 40-yard line and be downed shortly thereafter by Arkansas Tech's DeAnthony Phelan, and now a little bit of extra pushing and shoving after the play was over, draws a penalty flag. Here with 12.03 to play until halftime. Speaking of halftime, be sure to stay with us. We will bring you the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction, under the direction of Dr. Daniel A. Balancia. So be sure to stay with us for that, as well as numbers from the first half. And a look at the Great American Conference scoreboard as our referee lets us know the nature of that foul. Dead ball penalty at the end of that punt by Arkansas Tech. The punt traveled 
some 43 yards before it was downed. The penalty was a personal foul against Southwestern Oklahoma State, so that costs the Bulldogs 15 yards. It moves the football back to the Southwestern 20-yard line, and that's where they will begin with 12.03 to go in the second quarter, and Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 8 to nothing. Bulldogs scored on the first possession of the game, a 16-yard touchdown pass from Casey Freeman to Alex Ramirez. They then got the two-point conversion, and they've been in front 8 to nothing ever since. Man in motion is Jared Rayburn. Handoff goes to Jared Knowles, or Jaden Knowles, I should say. Knowles goes between the tackles up to the 22-yard line, a pickup of two. Among the Wonder Boys in on the stop, Harrison Lester. And it'll be second down and eight for Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 22-yard line. Clock rolling, 11.39 to play second quarter. Running back on this play for Southwestern Oklahoma State will be Kedron Banks. He is a senior, lined up to the right of quarterback Casey Freeman. Freeman, long snap count. Now he has it, fakes to Banks, steps back to throw under pressure. Freeman will run for it. He dives over the 25 up to the 26-yard line, able to gain four yards. And by doing so, he will make it third down and four for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Bulldogs... So far this afternoon, two out of five third on third down, down conversion tries. Freeman in a shotgun formation with two receivers to his right and one to his left. Wonder Boys, three down linemen, three extra defenders looking like they might rush the passer here on third and four. Man in motion to the far side is Hicks. Freeman fakes the handoff to him. Freeman spinning, running, staying on his feet and gets close to but not quite to the yard to gain. Tackled at the 29-yard line following a gain of three on third down and four. Among the Wonder Boys able to make the stop was Jared Loftus. It's going to be fourth and one for Southwestern from its own 29. And it looks like they will send out the punt unit. They've already gone for it on fourth once today when it was a bit of a surprise. And so the Wonder Boys, at least for a little while, will be a little bit slow to run that punt return unit onto the field when there's any question. Kane Bowen will for Southwestern. Bowen so far has averaged 52. Third punt of the day is away. It is going to come down to Tyrus Ford. He fumbles it at his own 25. Ball rolling loose inside the 20. And the Wonder Boys will be able to recover it there at the 15-yard line. Diving on the loose ball to avoid disaster. It Drew Wade, sophomore wide receiver by trade. Teams play Tyrus handle the punt. And it'll be first down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 15 with 9.46 quarter. And Southwestern Oklahoma State still leading 8 to nothing. The Wonder Boys 116 yards to 102. Quarterback Manny Harris has completed eight of 13 passes for 67 yards. He hands it off on first down to Brian Allen. Allen looking for running room right, and will be wrestled down from behind. A penalty flag is thrown as the stop was made by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Justice Hobbs, a sophomore linebacker from Farmington, Arkansas. Horse collar tackle is the call on the Bulldogs. And so that will add 15 yards onto the end of Brian Allen's run. Allen gained five on the carry. And then the penalty will move the football up to the Arkansas Tech 35-yard line, where it is another Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. 9.37 to go second quarter. And the Wonder Boys trying to put together another drive. Empty backfield here. As Manny Harris has four wide receivers to his left, he will run it right and will be taken down by the first man that he met. That was Dalton Cooper, sophomore linebacker, making the tackle at the 36-yard line after a gain of one. And it'll be second down and nine from there. This Manny Harris is a transfer from Cisco College in Texas. He's originally from Copperas Cove, Texas. He announced on Twitter July 14th that he planned on enrolling at Arkansas Tech University. On second down and nine, Harris... Fakes the handoff, throws to the near side, incomplete, trying to connect with Andrew Carter. That'll make it third down and nine. 
Manny Harris passed for 5,498 yards and 51 touchdowns during his final two seasons at Copperas Cove High School. If Copperas Cove sounds familiar, that's where the Wonder Boys played in the Heart of Texas Bowl just a few years ago. Last year, Harris averaged 242.5 passing yards per game at Cisco College. He has also been enrolled previously at the University of Texas San Antonio, where he had a redshirt year. Harris on third down and nine, throws to the near side to Trey Smith, but it'll be short of the yard to gain. Tackle made for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Jalen Carr, freshman defensive back out of Longview, Texas. And the Wonder Boys on fourth down and four from their own 41-yard line will be forced to punt it away following that five-yard completion from Manny Harris to Trey Smith. Trey Smith, with his first reception of the day, becomes the sixth different Wonder Boy to catch a pass today. Oklahoma. Tyler Dunlop on to punt it away. His first effort traveled 44 yards. Back deep to return for Southwestern Oklahoma State, it is Jalen Carr. Dunlop's punt is a beautiful high kick, and it is fielded at the 25-yard line by Carr. He is immediately stopped by Arkansas Tech's DeAndra Irvin. And it'll be first down and 10 for Southwestern from its own 28-yard line. Southwestern Oklahoma State, as we said, with 102 yards of total offense so far, 65 of those passing, 37 rushing yards. The Bulldogs have been penalized four times for 43 yards compared to two penalties for 12 yards against Arkansas Tech. That Dunlop punt traveled 33 yards. The return was two. On first and 10, Southwestern from its own 28. Play action fake. Freeman throws down the near side, far sideline. One-handed catch made in Arkansas Tech territory. And now racing down the far sideline and all the way to the end zone for a Southwestern Oklahoma State touchdown. It is J.R. Omiji, the deep play threat, averaging 19.9 yards per reception this year, strikes again for the Bulldogs. This time for a 72-yard touchdown pass from Casey Freeman. And the Bulldogs, pending the extra point, lead it 14 to nothing. Freeman's 13, or I should say 14th touchdown pass of the season. That is the play of for Southwestern Oklahoma State. In fact, it is their longest play from scrimmage this year. They will apparently go through with the extra point try this year, this time, the kick, rather than the two point try they enacted last time. Jackson Wilhite will attempt the extra point. It is on its way. It is. Good, there is a penalty flag down, so we'll wait and see on that. With seven minutes and 55 seconds to play in the second quarter. The official coming in to let him know what he had with the penalty flag. Wonder Boys are leaving the field, so it appears as if the attempt will stand as good for Southwestern Oklahoma State. No, now. George Brooks calling his teammates back onto the field. Illegal formation for Southwestern. So that'll cost them five yards, and they'll have to try again. And so we'll keep it here as Southwestern will have a decision to make on what they want to do now. After their first extra point try was good, but waved off due to penalty. As they had one, one gentleman lined up as an eligible receiver who was not eligible to do so. They move the football back to the eight-yard line. So it'll be a 25-yard extra point try now for Jackson Wilhite. Wilhite, so far this season, has converted on 11 of 11 extra point tries. This one is on its way, and it is no good wide to the right. And so our new score with seven minutes and 55 seconds to play in the second quarter is Southwestern Oklahoma State 14, Arkansas Tech 0. Here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys.
Seven minutes and 55 seconds to go in the second quarter. The scoring drive for Southwestern Oklahoma State was one play, 72 yards. It took 11 seconds. 72-yard touchdown pass from Casey Freeman to J.R. Omiji. We mentioned it was Freeman's 14th touchdown pass of the season. And five of those now have gone to Omiji. Omiji leads the Bulldogs in touchdown receptions in 2018. And now it'll be Ryan Buchanan to kick it away for Southwestern Oklahoma State with the Bulldogs' advantage extended to 14 to nothing. Back deep to return for Arkansas Tech. It's Jant Weary on the near side and Isaac Disney on the far side. Ryan Buchanan preparing to approach the football, does so, and kicks it away. Sends it to the far side for Isaac Disney. Disney makes the catch at the nine-yard line, out over the 15, the 20. Spun around by one coverage man, now still on his feet, out near the 30-yard line, and taken down there. Stop made in open field for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Kedron Banks. And the Wonder Boys will start first and 10 from their own 28-yard line. It has been a tale of missed opportunities so far for the Arkansas Tech offense. Twice the Wonder Boys have reached the red zone, and neither time have they been able to score any points. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 14 to nothing. Here with 7.47 to play in the second quarter, Manny Harris, 9 of 15 passing for 72 yards, lines up in the shotgun formation, now pistol formation, as Brian Allen goes behind him. Two receivers right. Harris sets up a screen. It is complete to the near side for Drew Wade. Wade with some running room created by a Tremel Glasper block is out of bounds at the 34-yard line, maybe the 33. Gain on the play was five. There is a penalty flag down on the far side of the field. Darius Franklin and Darian Richards made that stop for Southwestern Oklahoma State. And they're lining up as if it's going to be against Southwestern. And so that play never happened since the gain was not more than the penalty. The Wonder Boys will keep that down. They will accept the penalty against Southwestern as they had a defender line up in the neutral zone. And it'll be first down and five after the penalty on Southwestern. First down and five for the Wonder Boys from their own 33. Manny Harris, pistol formation, fakes to Brian Allen, rolls right, throws out of the backfield intended for Chris Eastburn, but it was batted down by Braden Sweet, able to break that one up. And it brings up second down and five for Arkansas Tech from its own 33. Elsewhere in the Great American Conference, Harding has extended the lead over Northwestern Oklahoma State 14 to nothing. Southeastern Oklahoma State leads Henderson State 14 to nothing. They're scoreless early on in Magnolia between Southern Arkansas and East Central. And just about to get underway in Monticello between UAM and Oklahoma Baptist. Screen pass, Manny Harris complete to Drew Wade. Wade spins away from the first defender, but then on the second try, Braden Sweet able to get him to the turf for very little, if any, gain. They will spot Wade down at the 33 for no gain. And so it's third down and five for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys are three out of seven on third down inversion tries so far today. Clock rolling, 6.51 to play until halftime. Southwestern Oklahoma State with a 14 to nothing lead. Trying to spoil homecoming for the Wonder Boys. Manny Harris lobs it deep down the near boundary, intended for Therese Hampton, but he was defended by two Southwestern players, and as a result, unable to come up with the catch. There with the coverage for Southwestern Oklahoma State, it was Jalen Carr along with Gerald White, and Tyler Dunlop will be called on to punt it away on fourth down and five as the Wonder Boys unable to take advantage of that first down penalty against Southwestern and did not pick up another yard after that. Line of scrimmage is the Tech 33. Jalen Carr waits at his own 27-yard line. Dunlop has the snap. The punt is away. It is a good one. Drives Carr back to his own 22. A little bit of running room in front. Bounces it to the outside, coming toward the near boundary. 35. Penalty flags down behind the run. Carr is tackled by Arkansas Tech's, check the number on that, that was Harrison Wade with that tackle. The deep snapper able to get him. But some of that 
18-yard punt return by Jalen Carr, likely to come back on a block in the back against the Bulldogs. The penalty flags are down just inside the 30-yard line. Here with 6.23 to go in the second quarter. Golden Suns volleyball team will be at home on Tuesday, a 6 p.m. match against UA Monticello at Tucker Coliseum. No admission charged. Instead of a block in the back, it was a block below the knees against uh, Southwestern Oklahoma State. And so that will be a personal foul against the Bulldogs. It will move the football back inside the 15-yard line and be spotted at the 14-yard line. And from there, it'll be first down and 10 for Southwestern. Golden Suns volleyball team now 15 and 9 overall, 8 and 4 in the GAC with four regular season matches remaining, fighting for the best seed that they can get going into the Great American Conference, which will be next month in Hot Springs. And the winner of that GAC tournament will receive an automatic bid to the NCAA Division II volleyball tournament. On first and 10, handoff for Southwest Oklahoma State running left and being forced out of bounds, it was Jaden Knowles. Gary Burton, D.O. Williams, and DeAnthony Phelan among the Wonder Boys giving pursuit there along with Jared Loftus and K.J. Reed all forcing Knowles out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Clock about to go under six minutes to play in the second quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading Arkansas Tech 14 to nothing. Casey Freeman, two receivers left, two to his right. Looks right, throws right, catch is made at the 24-yard line. It'll be short of the yard to gain on the reception by Jared Rayburn. Chris Kale and DJ Williams in on that stop. And I looked at it wrong. It was just enough for a first down. My apologies. First down, Southwestern Oklahoma State as they did get the yard to gain up at the 24. So it's first and 10, Southwestern from its own 24-yard line, 5.24 to go until the half. Casey Freeman awaits the snap. Freeman now 6 out of 9, passing for 144 yards. Now he's 7 out of 10, complete to Omiji at the 30. Some fancy footwork. He's able to free himself from one defender and then run down the far boundary all the way out to the 39-yard line before he is stopped with a gain of 15 yards. Omiji with his second catch for a total of 87 yards. And it's another first down for Southwestern Oklahoma State and the Bulldogs threatening to add to their lead here before halftime. Two receivers right, two to the left. Freeman giving some instructions to his offensive line. Wonder Boys show blitz with Chris Kale creeping up. Now Freeman takes the snap and rolls out to his right, looking. Now reverses field back to his left, looking for an open receiver, and he will finally do the wise thing and just throw it away into the far boundary as he was able to buy about as much time as he possibly could there, but nobody could get open downfield for Southwestern. And as a result, Freeman throws it away, and it'll be second down and 10 for the Bulldogs from their own 39-yard line. Whole bunch of new personnel coming in here for Southwestern, including a new offensive lineman. Checking in at running back, it is Kedron Banks. And coming to the near side as a wide receiver for Southwestern Oklahoma State, it is DJ Hicks. Two receivers right on second down and 10 for Southwestern from its own 39-yard line. Wonder Boys do not show blitz this time. Four down linemen. They'll send four after Freeman. Pump fake now looks to throw deep. Has a man in Arkansas Tech territory. Catch is made at the 30-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 25 by Kristen Trammell. The reception made for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Andre Bonner. The gain is to the 25-yard line, a pickup of 36 yards. Casey Freeman now 8 of 12, passing for 195 yards. And it's first and 10 Southwestern at the Arkansas Tech 25 with 4 minutes and 11 seconds to play until halftime. Bulldogs with it first and 10 and threatening to add to a 14 to nothing lead. Two receivers left. Wonder Boys come with a blitz. It's a screen pass complete to the near side. Reception made by Kevin Fox, Jr. And he was taken down by D.J. Williams at the 23-yard line following a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight from there for Southwestern Oklahoma State. K. 
Casey Freeman, the quarterback, lines up in a shotgun with Kedron Banks to his left. Two receivers left, two to the right. Second down and eight from the Tech, 23. Freeman has the snap. Here comes the pressure. They pick it up, batted down on the pass attempt. Casey Freeman trying to throw it down the middle, and Trey Chisholm for the second time today able to break up a pass as he timed his leap perfectly and knocked that one back to the turf behind quarterback Casey Freeman, bringing up third down and eight for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Bulldogs, two out of six on third down conversion tries today. They now have 237 yards of total offense compared to 127 for the Wonder Boys. Freeman, same formation, running back to his left, four wide receivers, has the snap, throws across the middle, catch is made at the 10-yard line, the five, and all the way down to about the one-yard line. They're going to spot him down at the two. Reception made by Jared Rayburn. It helped a little bit that the right tackle for Southwestern Oklahoma State got away with a blatant hold, but we'll overlook that for now. Three minutes and nine seconds to go in the second quarter. And it is first and goal for Southwestern Oklahoma State at the Arkansas Tech two-yard line, following a gain of 21 on the pass from Freeman to Rayburn. Man in motion, Omiji. They hand it off to Jaden Knowles. He tries to go up the middle, does so, and is stopped short of the goal line. He'll be dropped after a gain of one. K.J. Reed in on that stop for the Wonder Boys. Defensive leaders so far today for Arkansas Tech include Kristen Trammell and D.J. Williams with five tackles apiece. It's second down and goal for Southwestern. From the Arkansas Tech one-yard line, clock rolling, 2.25 to play until halftime. And this big Arkansas Tech crowd waiting for something to cheer for. Maybe the defense can give them something right here on second and goal. Hand off Knowles. Knowles goes straight ahead, and he is in. Touchdown, Southwestern Oklahoma State on a one-yard run by Jaden Knowles. That is Knowles' first rushing touchdown of the season. It is only the sixth rushing touchdown this year for Southwestern Oklahoma State. And now they will send out Jackson Wilhite to attempt the extra point with two minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Scoring drive for Southwestern was 10 plays, 86 yards, 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Will Hyde, who missed on his last extra point try, tries again. This one is good, and our new score is Southwestern Oklahoma State 21, Arkansas Tech 0. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. A big congratulations goes out to the Golden Suns cross-country team under the direction of head coach Tom Aspel. The Golden Suns finished second among three teams last night in the Tech Twilight Run. And I say big congratulations because for people my age and a little bit older, this might be the highlight of the athletics year at Arkansas Tech University. The team that Arkansas Tech defeated last night in that women's cross-country meet were those purple and gray folks from Conway. That's right, the University of Central Arkansas. And the Golden Suns finished in front of them last night, and it's always a good day when Arkansas Tech beats UCA. And that was the case yesterday. We don't get to celebrate that quite as often as we used to. And like I say, if you're my age or a little bit older, you understand what that means. Two minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second quarter. Tom Camerling in the booth next to me, he knows what that means. The kickoff by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Ryan Buchanan is fielded at the eight-yard line, and the official says that Jant Weary called for a fair catch. And so, well, did it say he called for a fair catch? Or did he, yeah, he says he called for a fair catch. And it'll be first down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 25-yard line with two minutes and nine seconds to go in the second quarter, and Southwestern Oklahoma State leading this game 21-0. to 
mentioned the Golden Suns volleyball team will be home on Tuesday. They'll be back in action again on Thursday. The referee, the referee giving us an indication of his call. And it's not going to be at the 25-yard line. It's going to be at the 10-yard line. And so that's where the Wonder Boys will have to start, and that has just about been par for the course, not only today, but for the last four weeks for the Wonder Boys. Just, it's felt as if anything that could go wrong has. But momentum is always one play away from shifting, and we'll see if the Wonder Boys can make something happen here before halftime. They have all three timeouts. They've got two minutes and 12 seconds. And if they could make something happen here before halftime, they do get the football first to begin the second half. Manny Harris rolls the pocket right, complete to Tremel Glasper. Glasper tackled at the 16-yard line following a gain of six. It'll be second down and four from there. Manny Harris now 11 of 19 passing for 78 yards in the first half. Therese Hampton, the receiver, right two receivers left. Manny Harris looking left, now steps up in the pocket, and he'll be dropped. Taken down on a quarterback sack for a loss of one at the 15-yard line. Quarterback sack recorded by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Reggie Mays, Jr. Mays is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And it'll be third down and four for Arkansas Tech. The line of scrimmage is the Wonder Boys 16 with one minute and 19 seconds to go in the half. Arkansas Tech, three out of eight on third down conversion tries today. Harris has the snap, quarterback draw, runs straight ahead. He's fighting for that 20-yard line, and I believe he got it. Should be enough for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down, and it is. On a gain of five, and Arkansas Tech will take timeout. One minute and five seconds left, second quarter. Southwestern leads 21 to nothing. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. And the Arkansas Tech Band of Distinction on homecoming. So following the Arkansas Tech first down, it'll be first and 10 for the Wonder Boys from their own 21-yard line following the five-yard run by Manny Harris. Brian Allen is the Wonder Boys leading rusher today with eight carries for 51 yards. Allen now 43 rushing yards away from surpassing Eddie Metter for second place on the career rushing list at Arkansas Tech. On first and 10, Manny Harris rolls the pocket right now cuts it upfield, running for it, gets slammed over the 20-yard line. It'll be stopped for no gain. Tackle made for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Braden Sweet. It'll be second down and 10 Wonder Boys from their own 21. Clock rolling, 47 seconds left in the half. Two receivers left, two to the right. Brian Allen is the running back. Harris has the snap. Harris looks to throw across the middle, too tall, and almost intercepted a great job by Drew Wade of Arkansas Tech to reach out and get his left hand on that one and bat it away. Otherwise, it almost certainly would have been intercepted by DeAndre Scott. The incompletion brings up third down and 10, and the line of scrimmage remains the Arkansas Tech 21. Glad you're with us this afternoon on River Country KCJC and ArkansasTechSports.com. Wish we had better news. Southwestern Oklahoma State leads 21 to nothing. Harris, quarterback draw, and nothing doing. He'll be dropped for a loss back to the 17-yard line, a loss of four on the play. Among the first men there for Southwestern Oklahoma State were Jacob Rodman and Colton Bowie. And timeout is taken by Southwestern Oklahoma State here in the Team Clean broadcast booth. We will pause for 30 seconds with them. This is Arkansas Tech football.
Fourth down and long for Arkansas Tech as we return to action with 21 seconds left in the second quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State calling timeout to force the Wonder Boys to punt it away here on fourth and 14 from their own 17-yard line. Jalen Carr waits at his own 43. Tyler Dunlop is the Arkansas Tech punter. Dunlop so far today has averaged 40.7 yards per punt. Gets this one away. It will come down in southwestern territory at the 45-yard line. Takes an Arkansas Tech bounce and roll inside the 30. Still rolling, and it's not going to stop until it gets to the 25-yard line. A punt of 58 yards by Tyler Dunlop. And it'll be first down and 10 southwestern from its own 25, and with only five seconds left in the half and a 21 to nothing lead, one would anticipate that Southwestern will play it safe here, get into victory formation, take a knee, and then these two teams will head to the locker room, one of them very happy and one of them looking for answers. Bulldogs offense onto the field. Freeman is not getting in the victory formation. Looks like they're going to at least line up as if they might run a full-fledged play here with five seconds to go in the half. I guess they're feeling pretty good about things right now. Freeman checking to the far side for the play call after they survey the Tech defense. Freeman will just hand it off here, running up the middle, Kedron Banks, and he'll be stopped at the 31-yard line. DeAnthony Phelan with the tackle for Arkansas Tech, and that is how the first half comes to an end. Our score after two quarters of football at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville is Southwestern Oklahoma State 21 and Arkansas Tech 0. Here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for three minutes. When we return, we will bring you the halftime performance by the Arkansas Tech Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction. This is Wonder Boys Football. The Arkansas Tech Office of Admission hosted the 22nd Annual Tech Open House earlier today at Tucker Coliseum. Respective students attending Tech Open House were entered to win a fall 2019 tuition scholarship to Arkansas Tech University. The winners of the 12-hour fall 2019 tuition scholarship are Emily Ann Taylor from Brinkley High School and Wendell Edwards from Ozarka College. If present, please see at the north entrance to the field. Congratulations from Arkansas Tech University. Ladies and gentlemen, your Arkansas Tech Golden Girls. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please direct your attention to the midfield area as we recognize our 2017-18 Great American Conference Championship team. First up, 
the Great American Conference champion, Golden Suns Volleyball Team. The Golden Suns won the first Back with you from Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville where we are at halftime and Southwestern Oklahoma State leads Arkansas Tech 21 to nothing. On the occasion of homecoming 2018 at Arkansas Tech University, the Golden Girls dance team just offered its halftime performance. Right now the 2017-2018 Great American Conference Championship teams at Arkansas Tech University are being honored on the field. First up was the Golden Suns volleyball team that won the GAC regular season and postseason championships a year ago. Now head coach Dave Wilbers and the Golden Suns basketball team making their way out to midfield to be recognized. The Golden Suns won the 2018 GAC tournament championship and finished up with an overall record of 26 and four a year ago. And then last up will be the Golden Sun softball team, which last spring won the 2018 Great American Conference Softball Tournament Championship up in Bentonville, the first time that Arkansas Tech has won the title in that event. And so congratulations to all of these championship teams for Arkansas Tech. Actually, I left one out. They were kind of all meshed up together there. I, I overlooked one very much inadvertently. The Golden Suns golf team, of course, also won the Great American Conference Championship last spring in their sport. That was the fourth consecutive year that head coach Amy Anderson and the Golden Suns golf team won the Great American Conference Championship. So volleyball, women's basketball, women's golf, and softball championship teams from Arkansas Tech from last year all being honored here on the occasion of homecoming 2018 at Arkansas Tech University. Speaking of Golden Suns basketball, they are now underway with practice for the 2018-2019 season. The Golden Suns will begin their season November 9th and 10th in a classic at Kansas City. The Wonder Boys basketball team that same weekend, the 10th and 11th of November. The Wonder Boys will be up in Minnesota for a classic. No radio of those games, but we will pick up the coverage of Arkansas Tech basketball for you here on River Country, KCJC, and ArkansasTechSports.com when the Golden Suns host Ecclesia College on November 14th. And then our first broadcasts of Wonder Boys basketball this winter will come your way November 16th and 17th. Those games will be played in Warrensburg, Missouri, as part of a classic. And that'll be a chance to see our old friend Doug Carlskent, who is now the head coach at the University of Central Missouri, former head coach at Arkansas Tech, as Central Missouri hosting that classic. And the Wonder Boys will be competing in it. Due to a just a, a fluke in the schedule, the Wonder Boys will not be playing Central Missouri, though, during that trip. Arkansas Tech will take on Illinois Springfield and William Jewell during that trip to Warrensburg, Missouri. Right now, we're going to step aside for one minute. When we come back, it'll be time for the Arkansas Tech Marching Band. This is Wonder Boys Football. Twenty eighteen Arkansas Tech University Marching Band. Yeah. Intrepid passengers, a computer named Hal, a ship called Enterprise, Mars and Jupiter. What do they have in common? They come from outer space. We present the first selection of our halftime show with music inspired by space, the final frontier.
the summer of 1916, Gustav Holst finished composing his masterwork, The Planets. Continuing our journey through space, we visit Van Morrison's 1970 hit album, Moon Dance. The title track of the album has been heard in the movies An American Werewolf in London and August Rush. It's also been covered by artists such as Michael Buble, Herb Elpert, Bobby McFerrin, and even Kathy Lee Gifford. Featuring the band of distinctions Color Guard and Majorettes, here is Moon Dance. Holden Jones and Corey Nolan on the trombone, and Bo Hamilton on drums. Let's dance the moon dance. Star Trek originally aired on September 8, 1966. 52 years later, the estimated $4 billion franchise now includes 13 feature films, the original television series, Star Trek Voyager, Deep Space Nine, The Next Generation, Enterprise, Discovery, and millions of fans around the world. From the 2009 J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot, here is Michael Giacchino's enterprising young men.
Klingons, Romulans, the Borg, Cardassians, Cindy's, Species 8472, and Khan! These are the voyages of Star Trek. Captain Kirk, Picard, Janeway, Spock, McCoy, and Riker to boldly go where no one has gone before. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Arkansas Tech University Marching Band, Arkansas's Band of Distinction!
back with you in the Team Clean broadcast booth at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville, where we are at halftime, and Southwestern Oklahoma State leads Arkansas Tech by a score of 21 to nothing. Let's take a look at some of the first half numbers real quick. Arkansas Tech with 10. Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first downs, nine first downs for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Bulldogs have 263 yards of total offense. 218 of those have been passing yards. They have 45 rushing yards so far. Arkansas Tech, 134 yards of total offense, 56 rushing yards, 78 passing yards. The Wonder Boys have yet to commit a turnover. Same story for Southwestern Oklahoma State in that category. The Bulldogs have had the football for slightly more often, 15 minutes and 23 seconds in time of possession for Southwestern compared to 14 minutes and 37 seconds for Arkansas Tech. The Bulldogs are three out of seven on third down conversions. The Wonder Boys are four out of 10. And the big number, Southwestern Oklahoma State, two out of two in red zone scoring opportunities compared to 0 for 2 for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys led by Brian Allen, eight carries, 51 yards. Manny Harris, 11 of 20 passing for 78 yards. And defensively, DJ Williams and Kristen Trammell have five tackles apiece. For Southwestern Oklahoma State quarterback Casey Freeman, 10 of 15 passing at halftime for 218 yards and two touchdowns. J.R. Omichi, two catches, 87 yards and a touchdown. And defensively for Southwestern Oklahoma State, Gerald White and Jacob Rodman are among the leaders with four tackles apiece. Now with a look at what else is going on in the Great American Conference this afternoon. He is a very busy man today, the Director of Alumni Relations at Arkansas Tech here on Homecoming 2018, Mr. Kelly Davis. Sam, appreciate it. It has been a great homecoming weekend and week for our students. So we appreciate great crowd today. The weather cooperated. Beautiful sunshine. The weather was perfect. And we have some scores for you. Let's back up to Thursday. Thursday night, Washita Baptist handled Southern Nazarene 41 to 0. OBU moves to 8-0 on the season, and they were ranked number fourth and four in the country. And today, Harding University 17, Northwestern 0. That's at halftime. Southeast Oklahoma 14, Henderson State 10. That's at the half. East Central late in the second has a surprise here. East Central 3. Southern Arkansas, zero. Let me sit late in the second quarter. And UA Monticello has a 7-0 to zero lead over Oklahoma Baptist. And all those are current scores right now. So we'll see how the end of the day wraps up and see if East Central can pull off the upset today. The Wonder Boys won the opening toss and deferred their option until the second half. And so Arkansas Tech will get the football first to begin the third quarter of play here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. And that kickoff is sent away by Ryan Buchanan, fielded for Arkansas Tech, one of the up men. Chris Eastburn has it. He's out over the 30, the 35, and up over the 40-yard line goes Chris Eastburn before he is tackled by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Hunter Bigelow, a freshman from Denison, Texas. We'll be very, very close to his hometown one week from today in Durant, Oklahoma, just across the border from Denison as the Wonder Boys will take on Southeastern Oklahoma State next Saturday afternoon, a 2 p.m. kickoff at Paul Laird Field in Durant. And I don't know if you know this or not, Kelly, but Durant, Oklahoma, Durant happens to be the Magnolia capital of Oklahoma. Magnolia capital. Hand off on first Brian down to Brian Allen, 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 and he is taken down shortly thereafter by Braden Sweet. The play goes for no gain, no gain. and it'll be second, second down, down and again. 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 44-yard line. Well, next weekend we need to drive around and find that magnolia tree. Take a survey of it for sure. Manny Harris is the quarterback for Arkansas Tech. He's got three receivers to his right. He's joined in the backfield by Christian Cole, throws to him, and Cole is upended for a loss, tackled by Darian Richards. Back at the 40-yard line for a loss of four. And it'll be third down and 14 for the Wonder Boys. Therese Hampton and Landon Smith check back in at wide receiver for Arkansas Tech as Tramel Glasper and Caleb Dean will check out. Just beginning the third quarter here in Russellville, Southwestern Oklahoma State leads Arkansas Tech 21 to nothing on homecoming here at Tech. Manny Harris with four wide receivers to choose from here on third down and 14. Throws across the middle. It is caught. Reception made by Drew Wade. 
He's going to be short of the yard to gain. They spot him down at the Southwestern Oklahoma State 48-yard line. Gain on the play was 12, and the Wonder Boys on fourth down and two from the Southwestern 48 will line up in punt formation. Tyler Dunlop will be the man who is apparently going to punt it away here unless the fake is on. Dunlop has punted four times today for an average of 45 yards per punt. Dunlop receives the snap. The punt is away. Good punt. Beautiful high wobbly spiral. Fair catch is called for and made inside the 10-yard line at the 8 by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Jalen Carr. And that's where the Bulldogs will go on offense for the first time here in the second half. Southwestern leads it 21 to nothing, 13.08 to go third quarter. And there's timeout at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in the Team Clean broadcast booth. We pause for one minute with them. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the Arkansas Tech Golden Sun Tennis Program is hosting the third annual Great American Conference Individual Championship. Men's championship play is taking place at Russellville High School, while the women's competition is taking place at the Tarkwell's Women's Sports Complex. Admission is free at both sites. First down and 10 for Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own nine yard line for the first possession of the second half for the Bulldogs. Casey Freeman, quarterback draw, looks for some running room up the middle, finds it over the 10 and is taken down from behind by TJ McPherson. McPherson makes the stop at the 13 yard line and there is at least one injured, if not two injured players at the end of that one. Gary Burton of Arkansas Tech able to get back to his feet but a southwestern Oklahoma State player not as fortunate, and they're going to tend to him while they do so here in the Team Clean broadcast booth. We will pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. We will keep it here through this break in the action with 12 minutes and 56 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 21 to nothing. We mentioned the Wonder Boys will be on the road next week on Saturday, October 27th, as the injured Bulldog was Casey Freeman, their starting quarterback, and he is going to leave the field unable to put any weight at all on his left leg. And so they will work on him on the far sideline. Taking a look, Tyler Marr has been their primary backup this season, and it will be Marr who will check into the game. He is a junior out of Beggs, Oklahoma, six foot three, 200 pounds, a junior. And he will check in at quarterback here in place of the injured Casey Freeman. Freeman exits after completing 10 of his first 15 pass attempts today for 218 yards and two touchdowns. And so that could be a big loss for the Bulldogs here early in the third quarter. Hope he's okay. Man in motion is Tyler Marr. I should say Marr hands it off to the man in motion. That is Jaden Knowles. Knowles will be stacked up at the 17-yard line. Gain on the play was four. And it's going to bring up third down and two for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Marr appearing in his sixth game of the season. He is five of eight passing this year for 54 yards in limited action. He has completed a two-point conversion pass today back in the first quarter, so this is not his first action of this one. And on third down and two from his own 17, he's got three receivers to his right, two to his left. This screams quarterback draw. We'll see what they've got on third and two. Now he brings a man in motion, penalty flags, whistles. And we'll see with 11.58 to go in the third quarter what the flag indicates. It is false start. False start on Southwestern. 
So that'll back it up five yards. Makes it a little bit better third down situation for the Wonder Boys. And now from the 12 yard line of Southwestern Oklahoma State, it'll be third down and seven. Southwestern leading this one 21 to nothing. A couple of touchdown passes by Casey Freeman and a touchdown run by Jaden Knowles. Now backup quarterback Tyler Marr takes the snap, throws across the middle, incomplete under a heavy rush, applying the pressure for Arkansas Tech and forcing that incompletion was George Brooks, the freshman out of Allen, Texas. Maybe we can get some better field position here. Hope for a uh, short punt. Drew Wade and Tyrus Fort back in double safety for Arkansas Tech. Awaiting the punt from Kane Bowen. Bowen so far today has averaged 50 yards per punt. And his three attempts, including one that's been downed inside the 20-yard line, a long of 56 yards today for Bowen. Left-footed punt is away toward the far sideline. It will be fair caught by Tyrus Fort in southwestern Oklahoma State territory at the 44-yard line. And so only a punt of 32 yards that time by Bowen. Good field position for the Wonder Boys. And timeout at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field. 11.26 to go, third quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State leads 21 to nothing. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we break for one minute. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. First down at the 11.26 to go, third quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 21 to nothing, but great field position here for the Wonder Boys. First and 10 to begin at the Bulldog 44-yard line. Manny Harris's screen pass is complete to Christian Cole. Cole will not go down, dragging Southwestern defenders all the way down to the 38-yard line for a pickup of six, and it'll be second down and four for Arkansas Tech. Well, it's a great effort not to give up. Got two extra yards out of that. And some good blocking out in front by, among others, Caleb Dean. Second down and four Wonder Boys at the Southwestern 38-yard line. Man in motion to the far side of the field is Chris Eastburn. Tech moving from our right to our left toward the north goal in the hole building. They pitch it out to the right for Brian Allen. And Brian Allen is stopped Allen after a short gain by Braden here. Sweet. Looks like they, they're going to give him zero on that. No carry. gain, actually, as they say he went down to the 38. And so it'll be third down and four now for the Wonder Boys as Brian Allen remains stuck on 51 rushing yards today, 43 away from surpassing Eddie Metter and moving into second place on the career rushing list at Arkansas Tech. On third down and four, Manny Harris wants to throw and it is behind his intended receiver, Trey Smith. Looked like Smith might have slipped coming out of his break and that disrupted the timing of that route. Looks like we may be going for it here. Wonder Boys so far today have not gone for it on fourth down. This season, Arkansas Tech has converted on eight of 16 fourth down conversion tries. And that 50% clip ranks fit fourth among the 12 Great American Conference members. On fourth and four from the Southwestern 38, Harris has the snap. Harris has Allen out in the flat, gives it to him. Allen juggles it for a moment, makes the catch, and is forced out of bounds right at the first down marker. Should be enough for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. Now a dead ball penalty flag comes sailing in. The result of the play will stand, which was enough for an Arkansas Tech first down as they've spotted the football at the 33. Now we have to wait and see what the penalty is, though. That was thrown by the umpire. 
While they do that, Kelly has some GAC scoreboard updates. Kelly Harding has scored again, 24-0 now over Northwest Oklahoma. And Southern Arkansas has gotten on the board. They lead East Central 6-3, and that is at halftime. UAM uh, 14, Oklahoma Baptist 0, and that also has gone to halftime. After further consideration, the officials say no penalty at the end of that play. So it remains Arkansas first down and 10. Arkansas Tech at the Southwestern Oklahoma State 33-yard line. We go under 10 minutes to play in the third period. Southwestern leading 21-0. Hand off Allen. Allen runs right. Allen is tangled up by T.J. Harris and taken down. T.J. Harris is the kind of guy who can ruin your entire day if you're an opposing offense. He came into the day with eight and a half tackles for a loss this season. He drops Brian Allen that time after a gain of just one. In addition to those eight and a half tackles for a loss and 33 tackles overall, Harris has also blocked two kicks this year. And now an official's timeout. Player down, number 97 for Southwestern. That is DJ Johnson, and while they work on him, here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we will step aside for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. Ladies and gentlemen, that's D.J. Johnson. Nine minutes and 33 seconds to go in the third quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State 21 and Arkansas Tech 0. Wonder Boys with the football, second down and nine. At the Bulldog 32, Manny Harris Absent one play that Tanner Gaines ran out of the Wildcat formation. It's been Manny Harris all the way at quarterback today for Arkansas Tech. He's going to run an option play left here. Harris will keep, turns it upfield, absorbs a big hit at the 29-yard line, and hangs on to the football. Jonathan Harris was the man who delivered the lick for Southwestern. Stop at the 29-yard line. After a gain of three, we'll make it third down and six for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys need to get to the Southwestern 23 in order to pick up the first down. Arkansas Tech now with 157 yards of total offense today compared to 271 for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Harris rolls right, has a man wide open in the flat, gives it to him. Landon Smith with the catch, and it's enough for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. Stop made for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Darius Franklin at the 15-yard line. The gain on the play is 14 on third down and six. And the Wonder Boys are back in the red zone where they are 0 for 2 today in scoring opportunities and now 12 out of 24 this season. Well, let's make it 1 for 3. Manny Harris lines up in a shotgun formation. He brings Tramel Glasper in motion. Hand off to Allen. Allen goes up the middle and pushes the pile down to the 13-yard line, a pickup of 2. It'll be second down and 8 for the Wonder Boys. Southwestern Oklahoma State tackle was recorded by Jacob Rodman, junior linebacker. And it'll be second down and eight for the Wonder Boys from the Southwestern 13. Caleb Dean and Chris Eastburn, a couple of blockers, check out, replaced by Drew Wade and Trey Smith as the Wonder Boys will spread it out a little bit here on second down and eight. Christian Cole checks in at running back in place of Brian Allen. It's second down and eight from the Bulldog 13-yard line. Man in motion, Trey Smith coming to the near side. Manny Harris has the snap. Manny Harris under pressure, throws incomplete as he just put it at the feet of Christian Cole to avoid the sack. Cole was well defended by Braden Sweet, and he was the only possible option to throw that football to, especially considering how quickly that pocket was collapsing. Yeah, he had no time to uh, look at his reads, look at the third, second, third receivers. Andrew Carter checks in at wide receiver. He goes to the far side of the field. Therese Hampton, Drew Wade, and Tramel Glasper are the receivers left. Cole, the running back on third and eight. Manny Harris with the snap. Harris throws it into the end zone looking for Hampton. It is incomplete and no penalty flags. A good bit of back and forth between Hampton and the defensive back for Southwestern. But no penalty flags, and now it's fourth down and eight. 
And no field goal unit yet for the Wonder Boys. Trey Smith is checking back in at wide receiver in place of Hampton. Down eight. As the Wonder Boys on fourth and eight will be without their biggest threat from a wide receiver perspective. As Hampton needs a breather after that last play. It's fourth and eight from the Southwestern 13. Manny Harris has the snap. Here comes the pressure. Harris avoids the rush for a moment. Now gets away from him a second time. Harris throws across the middle, incomplete. No penalty flags, and the Wonder Boys will turn it over on downs with seven minutes and 18 seconds to go in the third quarter, and the Wonder Boys are now 0 for 3 in red zone scoring opportunities today. And it is beyond the point of frustration for the Arkansas Tech offense. Oh, there's no doubt. You can tell they're frustrated. They'd like to get some points on the board, and they've had the good opportunities to do so. First and 10, Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 13-yard line. Credit the Bulldogs there with a good pass rush to force that incompletion. Man came unaccounted for from the left side. Quarterback for Southwestern Oklahoma State continues to be Tyler Marr after Casey Freeman left injured. Marr takes the snap. Option play right, pitches it out to Jared Rayburn. Rayburn with some running room over the 25 five, and up to the 27-yard line, a pickup of 14 yards on the option play right. And it'll be enough for a Southwestern Oklahoma State first down with seven minutes and five seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Bulldogs 21 to nothing lead intact. Made by Chris Kale, number 32. First down, Southwestern Oklahoma. Chris Kale and DJ Williams credited with that last tackle for Arkansas Tech. Marr in a shotgun formation. Two receivers left, one to the right. Fakes a handoff, throws across the middle, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Kevin Fox Jr. A penalty flag was thrown. And we'll see what they got there. The Bulldogs have been penalized eight times for 72 yards today. Possibly in the area of a hold. This may be their ninth penalty. They're backing up. Kelly, as usual, was exactly right. It is a 10-yard penalty against Southwestern Oklahoma State for holding. Kelly, it's been a great week of homecoming events. One of them I'm anxious to hear about. It's always a great event, I know, was the Hall of Distinction reunion dinner last night. How was that at Lake Point it was, Conference It was Center? outstanding. The uh, great crowd, Lake Point Conference Center, we hosted uh, uh, about 20 of our Hall of Distinction members returned back to campus last night and had a great time and uh, great enter entertainment. Doc Dr. Dan Belangia and some of the band members, they put on a really good show for us. First down and 20 for Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 17-yard line. Marr hands it off to Kedron Banks. Banks runs left for not much, a yard up to the 18-yard line. K.J. Reed among the Wonder Boys there to make that stop. Geo Williams also in on the stop along with George Brooks. And it'll be second down and second 19 down, for 19. Southwestern Oklahoma State from its own 18-yard line. Clock rolling, 6.14 to go third quarter. And as you would anticipate at this point in the proceedings, the Bulldogs not in a big hurry offensively. Marr with two receivers left and one to the right brings one of those to the left in motion. He hands it off to Banks. Banks running right, stiff arm on one defender, and then K.J. Reed brings him down from behind at the 26-yard line following a gain of eight. And it'll bring up third down and 11 for Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Bulldogs are three out of eight on third down conversion tries today. Third down, 11. They now sit at 294 yards of total offense today compared to 173 for Arkansas Tech. Tyler Marr on in relief of the injured Casey Freeman. Awaits the snap on third down and 11. Wonder Boys show a blitz from the right side and the middle. They're going to back off and drop several into coverage. Now Brooks has him in his sights and takes him down. Quarterback sack, George Brooks able to get Marr back inside the 15, all the way back to the 13-yard line. Loss on the play of 13 yards. And on fourth down and 24, Southwestern Oklahoma State will be forced to punt it away. And as that occurs, a ray of sunshine comes through the clouds. That's a good sign, maybe. Maybe it could be. There's still a lot of time left in this game, and the Wonder Boys have shown the ability to move the football today. They just need to cash in some of these scoring opportunities, and they can get right back in this game. On to punt it away for Southwestern. 
is Kane Bowen, averaging 45.5 yards per punt today. The Wonder Boys at least ran into him, if not roughed him. I think that'll probably qualify as roughing, which will be an automatic first down for Southwestern Oklahoma State. Bowen either shaken up or selling it. No way to know which one, but he is now back to his feet and heading back to the far sideline and appears to be okay, which is good news. Fast recovery. Yep, that was definitely roughing. And so it will be... It'll be four down unless it's an automatic. Yeah, that's an automatic. Yep. Automatic first down for the Bulldogs, and so they will get to maintain possession here with 4.31 to go in the third quarter. It's only the third penalty of the day against Arkansas Tech, but those penalties that extend drives just seem to hurt a little bit more than the others. The It'll move the football up to the Southwestern Oklahoma, Oklahoma State 28-yard line. line. And it'll be first and 10 for the Bulldogs from there. Tyler Marr will work from the shotgun. Two receivers right, one to the left. Marr's going to run a little option play right, pitches it out for... Knowles. Knowles has a lot of running room. He'll be forced out of bounds by Kristen Trammell, just shy of midfield. Jaden Knowles with the carry for a gain of 20, as the Bulldogs have been awfully proficient on that option play here in the second half. That play has worked well for them. As them, I might. Yeah. 4:08 to go, third quarter. Cannot blame them. Two receivers left, one to the right. Marr brings a man in motion. This time they give it to the dive man, Knowles, and he goes straight ahead to the 49-yard line, a pickup of three. Trey Chisholm had the tackle that time for the Wonder Boys. Jared Loftus helped him out. And it'll be second down and seven for Southwestern as the Wonder Boys shuttle in some fresh defensive linemen. T.J. McPherson, Hunter Hudson, Harrison Lester all check in for Arkansas Tech on that defensive line. Along with over there on the far side of the field, Deidrick Dukin. Second down and seven Bulldogs from the Tech 49. Marr hands it off, and this will go for a loss. Slicing through to make the stop for Arkansas Tech and dropping him for a loss. Good read. It was Deidrick Dukin. Back to the Southwestern 49, a loss of two. It'll be third down and nine for Southwestern Oklahoma State from their own 49-yard line. That clock just continues to melt third away, down now nine. down to two minutes and 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Tyler Marr will work from the shotgun. He needs to get to the Arkansas Tech 42 in order to pick up the first down. Has the snap. Here comes the pressure. It's a screen pass. It is complete to Knowles out of the backfield. Knowles running in Arkansas Tech territory. Stays on his feet, loses the football, and the Wonder Boys have recovered the fumble. Fumble recovery for Arkansas Tech by D.J. Williams. Williams with his fifth career fumble recovery, his second of this season, if it is indeed a fumble. The officials now discussing that point. And maybe perhaps also a penalty flag that might make it a moot point. I'm not sure. I don't see a flag, but there's a lot of discussion going on right now. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be a fumble if he fumbled it. Now the referee has his oh, they're changing information. The personal foul, roughing the passer, number 27. Personal foul, roughing the passer against Arkansas Tech. And for the second time on this drive, an Arkansas Tech penalty will extend the Southwestern Oklahoma State drive. And it looks like they tacked that on to the end of the play, which would have been a fumble. The penalty, first down yeah, that's a tricky one there. Uh, not sure of that. I'm still trying to figure out the other play. The other one down here where we supposedly were called for a fair catch on the kickoff, yet we kept the ball in the 10 and not the 25. Yeah, it, 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 I couldn't quite understand his explanation. It almost sounded like he called him for running after a fair catch signal, and that's why they put, brought it back to the 10 was, was the best I could understand his explanation. Although if that had been the case, it probably that's, should. Yeah, that's still not right. Marr looks to throw deep down the near sideline looking for Thomas. It is incomplete. Eddie Thomas, the fourth, the intended receiver on that one for the Bulldogs. There to break it up for Arkansas Tech was the man who recovered the fumble that did not happen a moment ago, D.J. Williams. And so it will be second down and 10 for Southwestern. The line of scrimmage will remain the Arkansas Tech 29-yard line. 
Two Arkansas Tech penalties have extended this Bulldog drive. And now Southwestern with a chance to add to a 21 to nothing lead. Here with 2.26 to play in the third quarter. Marr in the shotgun, takes the snap. Throws across the middle. It is caught inside the 15, 10-yard line and all the way down to the 5. It'll be a gain of 24 yards on the pass from Tyler Marr to Jared Rayburn. And it's going to be first and goal, Southwestern Oklahoma State at the Arkansas Tech 5-yard line. And this homecoming game feels as if it may be slipping out of reach for the Wonder Boys. Well, we definitely don't need to let them score here. Marr will bring the Bulldogs back to the line of scrimmage. They end up putting the football at the four-yard line for a gain of 25. And it'll be first and goal Southwestern from there. Two running backs flank quarterback Tyler Marr. It's Banks to his right and Knowles to his left. Movement along the lines, and somebody was guilty. The officials say false start against Southwestern, and so that will cost the Bulldogs five yards back to the Arkansas the Tech nine with a minute 45 to go in the third quarter. A reminder, the Wonder Boys will play their final home game of the season. Two weeks from today, it'll be a 2 p.m. kickoff on Saturday, November 3rd against East Central University. A couple of special events that day. It's going to be band member for a day, and it's also going to be Veterans Appreciation Day here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field, and so we look forward to having a big crowd here to celebrate both of those occasions, as well as Senior Day for the Wonder Boys, 20 senior members of this Arkansas Tech football team. First and goal Bulldogs from the Wonder Boys nine yard line. Option play right, they pitch it out to Knowles. Knowles pursued and taken down by Kristen Trammell. Trammell makes the stop for at best no gain. That will be the spot. They put it down right at the nine yard line, so no gain. And now it'll be second and goal for the Bulldogs and the line of scrimmage remains the nine. Next Saturday afternoon, we will be in Durant, Oklahoma for that 2 p.m. game against Southeastern Oklahoma State. It'll be on Saturday, October 27th. Here's a second down play for Southwestern as Tyler Marr awaits the snap, has it. Looks into the end zone, looking for Kevin Fox Jr. It is beyond his reach. Good defense by Arkansas Tech's Chris Kale to force that incompletion. And that'll be third and goal from the nine. So next week on the road at Southeastern, two weeks from today, home finale against East Central. And then three weeks from today, the 2018 football season at Arkansas Tech will wrap up with a road game to First Security Stadium in Searcy to take on the, at least now and probably then, nationally ranked Harding Bisons. All of those games set for 2 p.m. kickoffs. That means pregame coverage will start at 1.30 each of the next three Saturdays. Marr on third and goal, lobs it into the end zone. It is caught. Did he get a foot down in bounds? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Southwestern Oklahoma State on the nine-yard touchdown reception by Jared Rayburn. On the Tyler Marr pass, Marr gets his first touchdown pass of the season. And for Jared Rayburn, it is his third touchdown reception of 2018. And now Jackson Wilhite will try to add the extra point. Here with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. The kick is on its way. It is... Good, and our new score is Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 0. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. Deep receive the kickoff for Arkansas Tech will be number 14, Isaac Disney, and number 13, Jeff Wurry. It will be Ryan Buchanan to kick it away for Southwestern Oklahoma State. 
It will be Ryan Buchanan to kick it away for Southwestern Oklahoma State with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. And the Bulldogs now leading 28 to nothing. Jant Weary receives the kickoff at the five yard line, brings it up the hash mark out of the 20, and it'll be tripped up near the 25 yard line. Darius Franklin with the special team stop. The scoring drive for Southwestern Oklahoma State a moment ago was 13 plays. 87 yards and it resulted in the nine yard touchdown pass from Tyler Marr to Jared Rayburn and it is now 28 to nothing Southwestern Oklahoma State and Manny Harris will continue at quarterback for the Wonder Boys first and 10 from their own 26. Harris takes the snap, but Southwestern Oklahoma State looked like it was offside. We'll see if the Wonder Boys flinched first, drawing them offside with a false start. That was the case. So that'll be a five-yard penalty against Arkansas Tech. It will be the fifth penalty of the day for the Wonder Boys for 47 yards. So Arkansas Tech has done pretty well in that category. And they'll try again now on first and 15. Manny Harris has the snap. He looks to throw across the middle. It is Good catch. caught by Isaac Disney. They will rule it a catch at the 36-yard line. Enough for a first down. Should be just enough for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. And now they do go ahead and say that is a first down Wonder Boys. Here with 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Manny Harris will await the snap. Has it. Hands it off to Brian Allen. Allen goes between the tackles and gets stacked up. After a short game, primary tackle made for Southwestern by Reggie Mays Jr. And it'll be second down and nine for the Wonder Boys from their own 37-yard line following a gain of one for Brian Allen. Allen now with 55 rushing yards on the day. And that was the final play of the third quarter. 15 minutes remain in the 2018 homecoming game at Arkansas Tech. Our score is Southwestern Oklahoma State 28 and Arkansas Tech 0. We'll be back to the Team Clean broadcast booth in 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. Back with you at the Team Clean broadcast booth at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville. As we begin the fourth quarter of play with Southwestern Oklahoma State leading Arkansas Tech 28 to nothing. And the Wonder Boys in possession of the football. One of the Great American Conference crew here working the clock came down and gave us a little explanation on that fair catch earlier in the game. It was a case where the man who caught the, the kickoff, or potential kickoff return, was not the one who had signaled for the fair catch, and that was the reason uh, why that was administered the way that it was, and so a good explanation on that. We appreciate that. Manny Harris throws complete to Trey Smith. Another first down. Smith is down at the 48-yard line with an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. A gain of 11 on second down and nine. Obviously a sense of urgency now to go down and get a score. Wonder Boys with 14 Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first downs today, matching Southwestern Oklahoma State in that category. Manny Harris throws it deep to the far boundary. It is just beyond the reach of Isaac Disney. He was well defended by DeAndre Scott. And the incomplete pass will make it second down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 48-yard line. Kelly, I think you've got a couple of scores from elsewhere. We do. Harding continues to roll 31-0 over Northwestern. And it is now UA Monticello 14, Oklahoma Baptist 7. That in the second quarter. They've gone into the fourth quarter. Harding and Northwest have. Manny Harris on second down in trouble. Rolling back deep in his own territory. Just has to throw it away into the near boundary. Incomplete. And it'll be third down and 10. And Harris that time did a good job just to avoid a sack as he was under a heavy rush from Reggie Mays Jr. 
So now it's third and 10 for the Wonder Boys from their own 48. Arkansas Tech five out of 14 on third down conversion tries today. Manny Harris will work from the shotgun with two receivers to his right. Those two receivers are Trey Smith and Andrew Carter. Tramel Glasper is wide to the left and the slot left. It is Drew Wade. Third down and 10. Manny Harris lobs it deep down the near boundary for Carter. It is beyond his reach. There was contact between he and the defensive back and he finally got a flag. Either holding or pass interference will be called against Southwestern. I probably would say that was holding. I would say a little holding of the shirt. Felt like it happened before the ball went in the air, but I was wrong. It was pass interference. Going to go ahead and call interference. Either way, it was going to be enough for an Arkansas Tech first down. They'll enforce the 15-yard penalty down to the Southwestern 37. Following the penalty. And from there, it'll be first down and 10, Arkansas Tech following a Buffalo Wild Wings, Wonder Boys first down. Do want to remind you that all Arkansas Tech touchdowns this year are sponsored by Phil Wright Autoplex. The Phil Wright Autoplex Fireworks Wonder Boys touchdowns. An honest deal at an honest price from Phil Wright Autoplex. Pass by Manny Harris is complete to Chris Eastburn. And Eastburn is tackled at the 35-yard line following a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight for the Wonder Boys were shut out last week at Northwestern Oklahoma State. They were shut out earlier this season in one other game. And so the last time the Wonder Boys were shut out three times in the same season was 1976. Trying to avoid a third shutout this year here today. Christian Cole, Christian Cole gets the carry on second down and eight and takes the football to the 31-yard line for a pickup of four. That'll make it third down and four. Last time the Wonder Boys suffered back-to-back -back shutouts was 1974. So trying That's a to long avoid, time ago. It was a long time ago. I won't point out that it was before I was born, just because there's someone in the booth that was very much alive at that time. But that's yeah, 1976 was the uh, my senior year of high school. Thanks a lot. No problem. Manny Harris, five wide receivers on third down and four, rolling to his right under pressure, pump fake, now he'll run for it, he will get the first down, forced out of bounds by Gerald White. They will spot him out at the 22-yard line as Manny Harris on third down and four, able to scramble for nine yards, and an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down. Good job, good, good run, good read that time, no receivers open, so he uses blockers to get that uh, positive yardage. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 28 to nothing, but the Wonder Boys threatening here early in the fourth. Harris throws across the middle, man wide open, touchdown, Arkansas Tech. Manny Harris with the 22-yard touchdown pass to Drew Wade, who came wide open across the middle, and it is a Phil Wright Autoplex fireworks touchdown for the Wonder Boys on the 22-yard strike, 23-yard initially from Manny Harris to Drew Wade. Wide open. Nobody around. On to attempt the extra point for Arkansas Tech. It is Tyler Dunlop, the punter. Placement is down, kick is away. It is good, and our new score with 12 minutes and 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter is Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 7. Here in the Team Clean broadcast, we pause for 30 seconds you're listening to the Wonder Boys. The scoring drive for Arkansas Tech was nine plays, 74 yards. It took three minutes and two seconds, and it has cut the Southwestern Oklahoma State lead to 28 to seven. And now the Wonder Boys getting set to kick it off. And Kelly, it feels, it, to me it feels too early to think of onside kick, but we'll see how 
head coach Raymond Monica and the Wonder Boys elect to play it here. Also, we'll see how Southwestern Oklahoma State lines up to receive the kickoff. Well, they're not lined up to for an onside kick. They've got in regular return formation. So we'll see what that means here for Carson French as he trots out to kick it away for Arkansas Tech. They might try to hit one of these pockets between the uh, 30 and 45 yard lines, see if they can kick a little pooch kick here. Yeah. Get to it first. Yeah, here on the near side of the field, if you could if you could kick one to the near side and, and land at about the 35 yard line. Yeah, because you've got about from the 20 to the 45 distance there. Jant Weary might have a chance to run down there and fall on it. Carson French will kick it away for Arkansas Tech. 12.37 to play. He's going to go ahead and kick it deep into the far side of the field. It'll come down at the five-yard line, fielded there for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Jared Rayburn. He brings it out to about the 25-yard line. Special team stop made for Arkansas Tech University by C.J. Johnson. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Bulldogs from their own 26 with 12.29 to go. And... Kelly, if you're going to think about a comeback, you've got to string together some three and outs right yeah. here, maybe even force a turnover. You've got to have a three and out right here so you can have the field position. 12.29 to go. Southwestern Mike. Oklahoma State leading 28-7. to seven. Make for a short trip back to the end zone. Tyler Marr, who's on in relief of injured Casey Freeman at quarterback for Southwestern Oklahoma State, lines up in a shotgun formation. Marr, three of six passing for 41 yards and a touchdown. He fakes the handoff, looking to throw deep for Rayburn. It is intercepted, picked off by Jant Weary at the Arkansas Tech 41-yard line as the Bulldogs decided to play it aggressively, and it did not pay off. Jant Weary with the takeaway, and the Wonder Boys will get the football right back, first and 10 at their own 41-yard line with 12.21 to go. Got a little greedy there. Southwestern Oklahoma State commits the first turnover of the game. And now Manny Harris will line up in a pistol formation with Brian Allen behind him. They put the football at the 40-yard line of Arkansas Tech, first down and 10. Harris hands it to Brian Allen. It's a flea flicker. The flip back to Harris is loose on the turf, and Manny Harris able to fall on it back at the 28-yard line, a loss of 12 on the play as the pitch from Brian Allen back to Manny Harris on the flea flicker was off target and thus results in the big loss. A good job by Harris to dive on the loose ball and avoid the Wonder Boys re-gifting it to Southwestern Oklahoma State. So now it's second down and 22 Wonder Boys from their own 28. Clock rolling, 11.45 to play. Southwestern Oklahoma State leads 28 to seven. Manny Harris has time, throws short and complete. 35-yard line, Landon Smith with it. He's upended at the 38. Tackle made for Southwestern Oklahoma State by Jacob Rodman. And it is going to be third and long. Third down and 12 for the Wonder Boys. Line of scrimmage is their own 38. Arkansas Tech, six out of 15 on third down conversion tries today. Manny Harris with two receivers to his right, one to his left. Needs the 50-yard line, has the snap. Here comes the pressure. Harris rolls left, unloads. It is incomplete into the far boundary. Now it's fourth down and 12, and Coach Raymond Monica is going to send out the punt unit. The Wonder Boys will punt it away with 11 minutes to go, trailing 28-7. to And Dunlop will be the man to punt it for Arkansas Tech. Tyler Dunlop averaging 43.8 yards per punt in his five attempts today. Back deep for Southwestern Oklahoma State is Jalen Carr as the Wonder Boys were unable to make Southwestern Oklahoma State pay for that turnover. Dunlop's punt lands at the 25-yard line. It hits DeAndra Irvin. It'll be first touching out at about the 23-yard line. The ball will roll dead at the three, but the Wonder Boys touched it first back at the 23. They just might as well, they're wasting time there on the clock. Just down it and move it up here and let's go. It'll be first down and 10 Southwestern from about its own 23-yard line with 10.44 to go. And the Bulldogs leading 28-7. to seven. And so that's where the Bulldogs will go back on offense. Southwestern Oklahoma State with 343 yards of total.
today and there is time out on the field at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field here in the team clean broadcast booth we pause for one minute as well this is Wonder Boys football and make your plans to join us on Saturday November the 3rd as your Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys return to Thone Stadium at Burkle Field the face-off is in East on Senior Day kick off is set for 2 p.m. First down for Southwestern Oklahoma. Football at the 23 yard line. 10 minutes and 44 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Southwestern Oklahoma State with the football. Handoff to Kedron Banks. He runs up the middle and out to about the 27 yard line. Gain on the play will be roughly five yards. Among the Wonder Boys there to make the stop was Kristen Trammell, along with Dio Williams. Second down, five. second down and five for Southwestern Oklahoma State from the 27-yard line. Now it's caught second and five from the 28, correction. Receivers to the near side will be Andre Bonner and Kevin Fox, Jr. The running back is Kedron Banks as Southwestern Oklahoma State trying to snap a two-game losing streak against Arkansas Tech and a three-game losing streak overall. Hand off Banks. Banks up the middle. First man to hit him was Alex Wade. He is stopped at the 33-yard line, a gain of five on second down and five, and that'll make it first down and ten for Southwestern Oklahoma State as the Bulldogs pick up their 15th first down of the afternoon. Nine minutes and 39 seconds left. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 28 to 7. Tyler Marr, the Bulldog quarterback. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. Marr, long snap count. Taking that play clock all the way down to seven before he calls for the football. Hands it off to Banks. Banks goes left. Again, it was... Alex Wade there to put the first contact on him. K.J. Reed finishes the stop at the 38-yard line. Another pickup of five yards. And right now, Southwestern Oklahoma State doing what you got to do to put away these games late. When the other team knows you're going to run it, you can still have success. Yeah. Just milk that clock down. Now down under nine minutes to go. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Hand off Banks. Banks goes up the middle and is spun to the turf. Just shy, it appears, of the first down marker by Chris Kale. Tackle made at the 42-yard line after a gain of four. It'll be third for Southwestern. They are four out of ten on third down conversion tries today. Walk down to eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Southwestern leads 28 to seven. Junior. They hand it off to Kedron Banks. Banks on second effort will be close to a first down. Trey Chisholm slammed him at the point of attack and Banks somehow kept his legs churning long enough to get the yard that he needed. He gave it to him. No measurement. Gain of first and ten Bulldogs from their own 43. It takes the clock under eight minutes and it begins to make it nearly impossible now for there to be enough time left for the Wonder Boys to mount a comeback unless Southwestern Oklahoma State commits a series of incredibly foolish mistakes. Banks in a pistol formation behind Tyler Marr. Whistles. And penalty flag before the snap and now an injured Southwestern Oklahoma State player. While they work on the injured Bulldog here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we will pause for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech football.
ladies and gentlemen, that Brandon Rowe. Fire team snap, delay of game, now stand. Five yard penalty, first down. The injured Southwestern Oklahoma State player was Brandon Rowe. They help him to the far sideline. Rowe is a senior offensive lineman from Choctaw, Oklahoma. There was a delay of game penalty against Southwestern was the reason for the flag. And so now it's first and 15 for the Bulldogs from their own 38. Play action fake. Pass across the middle is caught, I believe, by Alex Ramirez. There's a penalty a flag, flag down, down, though. They're going to bring it back because... So ineligible downfield. So that'll wipe out the shoestring catch by Alex Ramirez on the yeah. Tyler Marr pass. I give him credit for a good catch. So now the football Southwestern 33-yard line. First down and 20 with seven minutes and 14 seconds to go in Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 28 to 7. Bulldogs have now been penalized 13 times for 112 yards today. Clock goes under seven minutes to go as Marr awaits the snap. Thanks. Banks runs right with some room out over the speed, gets him to the one yard line following a gain of eight. And Arkansas Tech will use a timeout. 6.50 to go. Southwestern leads 28 to 7. At the Team Clean Broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. You're listening to the Wonder Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, your Arkansas Tech Band of Distinction. Six minutes and 50 seconds to go here. Southwestern leading 28 to seven and Kelly has GAC scores. Well, with five minutes to go, it's Harding 38, Northwestern seven. With seven minutes to go in their game, Henderson State still holds that 17-14 lead over Southeastern. It is Southern Arkansas now 20, East Central three. That's five minutes to go in the third and almost at the half, it is UA Monticello 21, Oklahoma Baptist 14. Here as we return to action, Southwestern Oklahoma State faces second down and 12 from its own 41 yard line. The handoff is to Kedron Banks. He's got a lot of running room right. He'll have the first down and plenty more blocker in front to the Arkansas Tech 30 and forced out of bounds at the Arkansas Tech 27 yard line. A gain of 32 yards on the run by Kedron Banks. He now has 10 carries for 73 yards today. And the Bulldogs, with six minutes and 32 seconds left, are just about to put this one on ice. Yeah, 21 points in six and a half minutes. I don't think you get the ball back that many times. Speaking of on ice, there's going to be a post-game reception out at the courtyard by Marriott here in Russellville, beginning at approximately 5 p.m. That is open, I believe, Kelly, to all alumni and friends of Arkansas Tech. All alumni and friends of the courtyard by Marriott. It's a new venue here in Russellville. They've graciously offered to let us come out there for a post-game and homecoming get-together. Uh, also joining them will be uh, Kappa Alpha. It will be uh, Student Government Association. And Lambda Chi, they will all have their own rooms that they will be able to go and get together and have a great time, good fellowship. So come on out and join us. Gain of two a moment ago by Banks. Now he runs up the middle down to the 19-yard line for six more yards. That'll make it third down and two for Southwestern Oklahoma State. And then also the final event of homecoming weekend will be tonight at 7 p.m. out at Lake Point Conference Center as the African-American Alumni Association chapter at Arkansas Tech uh, is going to host the Colonel George T. Hudgens Evening of Excellence out there. We wish everybody out there a great evening of, of fellowship. Yeah, saw Colonel Hudgens last night, the Hall of Distinction uh, dinner. He's been here all weekend, and he's looking forward to that. And, Again, uh, and all, the, uh, all the all the others who will be attending. There, It'll be a great crowd, good turnout, and that'll cap off homecoming 2018. 
We thank everyone who's made it a special time of year again here at Arkansas Tech University these last few days as we've celebrated homecoming. Gain of one on third down and two for Banks, so now it's fourth and one. And the Bulldogs look like they will go for it on fourth and one from the Arkansas Tech 18-yard line. Quarterback Tyler Marr awaits the snap. Brings a man in motion. That's Fox. It's going to be a pitch out to Fox. Fox has one man to beat, and now he's going to try to lean forward, and I don't think he got there. I hope not. A great open field oh, tackle no. recorded for Arkansas Tech by Adrian Scott, junior defensive back, and Scott did indeed get him stopped short of the yard to gain. Oh, I thought the referee was signaling first down, but... Turnover on downs. And Thank you very much. Wonder Boys will get it back with four minutes and 28 seconds left. Two timeouts to work with. And trailing 28 to 7. Manny Harris has completed 21 of 37 passes today for 172 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. But really the only stat that has mattered today has been red zone offense efficiency. Southeast or Southwestern Oklahoma State is three for four now in red zone scoring chances as... Manny Harris's pass intended for Drew Wade is incomplete down the near boundary. Wade caught it, caught the football, but unable to get a foot down in bounds to make it a reception. And so it'll be second and 10 Arkansas Tech from its own 18. Meanwhile, as Southwestern has gone three for four in the red zone, Arkansas Tech 0 for three in red zone scoring opportunities today. And basically that number is looks like it's going to determine the outcome of this football game with Southwestern leading 28 to 7 with 421 to play. Manny Harris rolling to his left, avoids the rush, throws it downfield, it is intercepted. Picked off inside the 35 yard line by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Braden Sweet. And if there was any doubt remaining as to the outcome of this football game, that sealed it. That will erase it. And the Wonder Boys hopes for a fourth consecutive winning season will end here this afternoon as they will fall to two and six on the year with this fourth consecutive loss. We'll wrap up the season with three more games to play next week at Southeastern Oklahoma State. Two weeks from now, the final home game against East Central. And in three weeks, the final game of the season against Harding. All of those set for 2 p.m. kickoffs here on River Country, KCJC, and ArkansasTechSports.com. Tyler Marr hands it off to Jaden Knowles. Knowles runs up the middle. Ball may have come loose. Did the Wonder Boys fall on it? They say they did. No official indication yet, as there's a big pile of humanity inside the 30-yard line. And I imagine there's still a battle down there to see who's going to come away with the loose ball. Wonder Boys fairly sure they have it. And they are right. K.J. Reed with the fumble recovery for Arkansas Tech. Reed with his first fumble recovery of the season. That was a specialty for him last year when he was among the national leaders in fumble recoveries with five. That is his seventh career fumble recovery. And the Wonder Boys will get the football right back at their own 29-yard line with four minutes and two seconds left. Southwestern leading 28-7 to and now... Maybe just an ounce of doubt back into things. We'll see what the Wonder Boys can do here. Manny Harris under pressure, avoids the rush. He will run with it, 35, and he slides down at the 38-yard line. They'll say Harris, the official the on the far Harris. side says he began his slide back closer to the 36. So we'll see where they spot this football. They do put it at the 36 for a gain of seven. Second, Second down, down and three, three from there, 349 to play. Manny Harris, three, or I should say two receivers to his right, one to his left. Takes the snap. Here comes the pressure. He avoids the blitzer. Now lobs it deep down the far sideline for Therese Hampton. It is batted away incomplete. It'll bring up third down for Arkansas Tech. Among those there with the coverage for Southwestern Oklahoma State were Razil Young and James Spann. Brings up third down and three. Third down and three for the Wonder Boys from their own 36. The incompletion stops the clock with three minutes and 33 seconds to go. Southwestern Oklahoma State leading 28 to seven. Manny Harris will work from the shotgun. 
Unloads short and complete to Brian Allen. Allen will have an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down and more. Down the sideline, 35-30, 25-20. Makes a man miss inside the 15 and all the way down to about the 11-yard line goes Brian Allen as he juggled that football for a moment. But once he got two hands around it, he took off down the near sideline and all the way to the 30 to the 11-yard line for a gain of 53 yards. And the Wonder Boys have it first and 10 at the Southwestern 11 and hope remains alive in Russellville. Good job, good run. He read his blockers well. Got the, all that additional extra yardage at the end. Timeout, Southwest. The Bulldogs having trouble getting the right personnel on the field. They call timeout. We pause for 30 seconds with them. 28 to 7. Southwestern leads with three minutes to go. Here in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. Three minutes remaining. Ar Arkansas Tech trailing by 21 points. It's 28 to seven. Southwestern Oklahoma State in the lead with the Wonder Boys with the football at the Bulldog 11 yard line. After that 53 yard completion from Manny Harris to Brian Allen. Allen now with not even including his kickoff return that he had 119 yards just between his receiving and his rushing here today, 55 Rushing yards, 64 receiving yards for Brian Allen. On first and 10 from the 11, Manny Harris throws into the end zone. Catch made by Carter. Did he get a foot down? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Arkansas Tech on an 11-yard pass from Manny Harris to Andrew Carter. Manny Harris picks up the touchdown pass, his second of the day, this his second of the season. Andrew Carter with his first touchdown reception of the year. It is a Phil Wright Autoplex Fireworks Wonder Boys touchdown. Phil Wright Autoplex, an honest deal at an honest price. The excitement of the moment is tempered by the fact that there is an injured Wonder Boy. And they're tending to him here with 2.54 left in the ball game. And the Southwestern Oklahoma State lead cut to 28-13. to While they work on the injured Wonder Boy, we will pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. The injured player is an Arkansas Tech offensive lineman. And now as they get him back to a, a semi-standing position, we can confirm that the injured wonder boy is Larry Clark, a freshman offensive lineman from Blyville. And they bring out the Gator, the little sport utility vehicle, to get Larry Clark to the sideline where he will receive the treatment that he needs. Brent Linker, the director of athletic facilities behind the wheel of the John Deere Gator to get Larry Clark Number to the sideline, and we'll hope that he is okay. Di Tyler Dunlop will attempt the extra point for Arkansas Tech with 2.54 remaining, and a chance to get a little bit closer here. The holder is Landon Smith. Placement is down, kick is away. It is good, and our new score with two minutes and 54 seconds left is Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 14, in the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football.
Number 43, Carson French. Rockford Talk X. Well, it is now onside kick time for the Wonder Boys with two minutes and 54 Jesus seconds remaining. And Southwestern Oklahoma State leading the Wonder Boys 28 to 14. The scoring drive for Tech was four plays, 71 yards. It took one minute and six seconds, resulting in the 11-yard touchdown pass from Manny Harris to Andrew Carter. And now Carson French will attempt the onside kick, sends it toward the far sideline, gets the big high bounce you want. Ball is loose. It'll go out of bounds, and it will belong to Southwestern Oklahoma State. With two minutes and 52 seconds left, the Wonder Boys can stop the clock via timeout two more times. There is a Wonder Boy slow to get back to his feet over on the far sideline. And it is Quay Rose who now is lying on the turf here at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field, unable to get back up and make his way to the sideline under his own power. And they will come out to take a look at Quay Rose here with 2.52 remaining in the Team Clean broadcast booth. We will take a 30-second break. This is Arkansas Tech football. There is no foul for a free kick out of bounds. The kick was touched by a member of the receiving team. While they continue to tend to Quay Rose after he suffered an injury on the onside kick attempt, we turn to Kelly Davis for a Great American Conference scoreboard update. We have another final for you. It's Harding 38, Northwest Oklahoma 7. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the game. Southeast Oklahoma and Henderson State tied at 17. Late in the third, it is still Southern Arkansas 20, East Central 3. And at half, still, UA Monticello 21, Oklahoma Baptist 14. Reminder, the Golden Suns volleyball team is at home Tuesday night for a 6 p.m. match against UA Monticello as the Golden Suns battle for the best Please seat possible in the upcoming Great American Quay Conference Rose. Volleyball Tournament. Quay Rose now back up to a standing position. He'll be able to walk off the field as Southwestern Oklahoma State prepares to go on offense. First and 10 from its own 49-yard line following the unsuccessful onside kick attempt by the Wonder Boys. Quarterback for the Bulldogs is Tyler Marr. He's played almost the entire second half after Casey Freeman, the starting quarterback for the Bulldogs, was injured early in the third quarter. Two receivers left, one to the right for the Bulldogs on first and 10. Man in motion is Fox. The handoff is to Kedron Banks. Banks... Goes straight ahead. And Geo Williams, along with Jared Loftus, were integral in getting him to the turf at the 50 after a gain of one. Arkansas Tech calls timeout, 247 to play. Southwestern leading 28 to 14. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. Two minutes and 47 seconds to go. Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 14. Southwestern Oklahoma State about to face a second down and nine play from the 50-yard line. Running back will be Kedron Banks. Banks with 14 carries for 83 yards today. He is lined up to the right of quarterback Tyler Marr. And it is very likely that Banks will be the ball carrier here on second down and nine and that they'll force Arkansas Tech to use its final timeout. Banks does indeed get the handoff and he is indeed wrapped up immediately by Trey Chisholm and the Wonder Boys do indeed call timeout. Loss of one on the play. It'll be third and 10 Southwestern when we come back, 2.42 to play. Bulldogs lead 28 to 14. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football.
Two minutes and 42 seconds remaining. Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 14. And the Bulldogs facing a third down and 10 from their own 49-yard line. The Wonder Boys have now exhausted their supply of timeouts. And so we'll see here how the Bulldogs want to go for it, if, how they want to go, uh, apply themselves here. If they, they can throw it and try to get the first down and basically put this one away, or they can run it and assure themselves of taking quite a bit more time off this clock. So we'll see how they elect to play it on third down and 10 from their own 49. Marr gives to Banks. Banks runs right and gets into Arkansas Tech territory, but not much more. Pick up of, uh, may give him four yards to the 47. That'll make it fourth down and six, and it'll be down just under two minutes left in the game before Southwestern Oklahoma State is required to snap the football again. And so now, one would anticipate they would send out the punt team, surely. They're not gonna go for it on fourth down and six, are they? They still have the offense on the field like they're gonna go for it, unless they're just, I don't know, it's not, it's not short enough distance to try to draw the Wonder Boys offside even. They're just gonna run, run some clock. They're gonna take it down Probably to one and maybe timeout. call timeout and then send out the punt unit, surely. Or just take a five yard penalty. Yeah. They do call timeout, so we'll see what they decide to do when we come back. One minute and 57 seconds left. Southwestern leads 28 to 14. In the team clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. One minute and 57 seconds remaining. Southwestern Oklahoma State 28, Arkansas Tech 14. They're down to nine seconds left in the loveliest village of Washita River, Henderson State and Southeastern Oklahoma State tied at 17. And the Reddies have the football at the Southeastern 23 yard line. So we'll keep an eye on that to see how that turns out. Southwestern Oklahoma State will indeed line up in punt formation on fourth down and six from the Arkansas Tech 47 yard line. Their punter, Kane Brown, has had a, or Bowen I should say, has had a good day. Kane Bowen averaging 45.5 yards per punt today. Another good one. Fair catch is called for. It will land inside the five and goes bounding into the end zone. I thought, I thought that the Southwestern player had stepped in the end zone. Well, he before was he, way in the end zone. Before he touched the football. Yes. Now they, now they do signal touchback. And so it will be first down and 10 for Arkansas Tech from its own 20-yard line. With a minute 42 to go. Wonder Boys are out of timeout, so you need some big plays, need some chunk plays here to get down and get a quick touchdown and then try another onside kick is the only hope for the Wonder Boys. Manny Harris has so far today completed 23 of 42 passes for 236 yards, two touchdowns. He will have Tramel Glasper, Trey Smith, and Drew Wade to his right. He has Therese Hampton to his left. 10 different Wonder Boys have caught a pass today. Harris steps up in the pocket. No running for it is not much going to help him much at this point. So he circles back around, throws complete to Tramel Glasper for an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down, out of bounds at the 38-yard line for a gain of 18. And it will be first down and 10 for the Wonder Boys from there. As Glasper not only gets the first down, but also gets the added bonus of stopping the clock by getting out of bounds with a minute 32 to go. So here we go. Three receivers left, one to the right. Ball spotted on the right, hash mark. Wonder Boys moving from our left to our right toward the south goal in the bandstand. Manny Harris in trouble, avoids the pass rush, now rolls back to his right. He will run for it this time, heads for the boundary, and gets out of bounds at the 42. Gains the four yards carrier. on the play, stops the clock with a minute 23 left. And it'll be second down and six for the Wonder Boys. A reminder to join us for the post-game homecoming reception at the courtyard by Marriott here in Russellville. Sponsored by the Arkansas Tech Alumni Association. 
Second down and six Wonder Boys from their own 42. Manny Harris takes the snap. Fakes short, now throws short. Landon Smith makes the catch, 45-50. It's an Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first down as Smith is forced out of bounds at the Southwestern Oklahoma State 46-yard line. Get a score here. Gain on the play of 12. Make it, make it even more interesting. Speaking of scores, Timo Martinez has made a 40-yard field goal for Henderson State. And the Reddies, with four seconds left, lead Southeastern 20 to 17. Pass by Manny Harris incomplete at the feet of Andrew Carter. As a good pass rush that time applied by Southwestern's Jacob Rodman. Well, if, if that score holds true, then uh, Henderson State will move to five and three. Southeast Oklahoma will drop to five and three. The Savage Storm has taken over at its own 33-yard line, so they will get one play to try to erase that three-point deficit. And congratulations to Timo, young man from Dardanelle, with potentially a game-winning field goal there for Henderson State. Manny Harris throws, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Southwestern Oklahoma State's Clay Wilkerson. He's racing down the near sideline, and he will have an interception return for a touchdown. The pass was intercepted by Southwestern it is the third time in the last four weeks that an Arkansas Tech pass has been intercepted and returned for a touchdown. Now we have penalty flags. And there is a flag on the play. possibly either a sideline warning or excess well, celebration. I'm we'll not see. sure if you got two separate penalties. Maybe one on the field and one on for the sideline. I don't believe the Southwest coaches really care over there at this point. Yep, we have now officially picked, <laughs> we have now officially so. picked a winner regardless of those penalty flags, unless one of them wiped out the interception, which does not appear to be the oh, case at all. That'll be assessed on the kickoff, I believe. Here comes our referee to let us know with a minute exactly left to play. They're lining up for the extra point, so I believe the touchdown is going to stand. It is unsportsmanlike conduct, and they will assess that on the kickoff, which will be utterly meaningless. Sideline warning. Equally meaningless at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure they're too worried about that. Jackson Will Height will attempt the extra point. Placement is down, kick is away. It is good, and our new score with one minute to play is Southwestern Oklahoma State 35 and Arkansas Tech 14. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we pause for 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech football. One minute to go, Southwestern Oklahoma State 35 and Arkansas Tech 14. As the interception return for a touchdown by Clay Wilkerson was officially 57 yards. And that has made it now 35-14 Bulldogs as the Wonder Boys will fall to two and six on the season. And Southwestern Oklahoma State will improve to three and five. Southwestern will be forced to kick off from its own 20-yard line due to the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the for following the interception following return for a touchdown. Penalty, the touchdown. Trying to check and see, get an official word on whether or not that Henderson State, Southeastern Oklahoma State Ryan game has gone final or not. Let's see here. We'll check the old Twitter machine. When in doubt, check the Twitter machine. That's what I always say, Kelly. Absolutely. Nothing there. We'll try again here in a minute. As well, I'd say we'll call it a Henderson State win. Well. Unless they threw a Hail Mary and scored a touchdown. Stranger things have happened. That is true. The kickoff comes down at the 25-yard line, fielded there for Arkansas Tech by Jant Weary, and he brings it out to the 35. It has indeed gone final. Henderson State wins 
20 to 17 over Southeastern Oklahoma State. It's now 27 to 9, Southern Arkansas over East Central with 14 minutes left in that game. Just 21 to 14. And that pretty well wraps it up. We already had the 38 to 7 Harding win over Northwestern Oklahoma State. And Southern Arkansas, if they hold on, they'll keep that number two spot. Manny Harris rolling to the right, throwing. It is incomplete into the near boundary. The Stops the clock. 49 seconds left. Southern Arkansas moved to season behind Washita at 8 0. Harding is at 6 and 2. And then you got five and three teams Southeast Oklahoma and Henderson State. Credit this Arkansas Tech team trailing 28 to nothing going to the fourth quarter. It would have been easy to cash this one in, but the Wonder Boys kept on fighting and made this one interesting here in the fourth quarter. Made the Bulldogs earn it. Manny Harris throws short and complete to Mel Glasper. And Glasper is out of bounds at the 39-yard line for a gain of four. It'll be third down and six from there with now 44 seconds remaining. We'll be with you for pregame coverage from Durant, Oklahoma at 1.30 p.m. next Saturday afternoon as the Wonder Boys will take on southeastern Oklahoma State. I bet you the wind will be blowing. It always blows in Oklahoma. I bet it will be next week. Manny Harris fumbles the snap and falls on it back inside the 30-yard line. Well, Generally, it seems like it's always the same direction, too. Well, looking at the trees, it is. Yeah. Well, and, and, and at uh, southeastern Oklahoma State, looking at the goalposts. The, I, I promise you, the goalpost on one end <laughs> yeah. is leaning from the, the wind blowing on it so long for so many years. And there's no reason to try to fix them. No, it just go right back where it was. The fumbled snap has brought up a fourth down and 16 situation for the Wonder Boys. Manny Harris takes the snap. Under pressure, throws short and incomplete. And now Western Oklahoma State will need only come out and get in victory formation one time, take one knee, and this one will be over. Southwestern Oklahoma State will snap a two-game losing streak to Arkansas Tech, and the Bulldogs snap a three-game losing streak overall with this victory. And it'll be a pleasant five-hour ride back to Weatherford for them. Well, Sam, if I can, I'd like to thank the alumni staff. Yes. Allison Parks-Taylor, Clay Wiley, Terry Hall and Finley, and all the volunteers who helped make homecoming a great, great week and weekend. So thank you all for all that you do and all the help that you gave us for homecoming. Tyler Marr takes a knee, and the game is over. Final score from Russellville, Southwestern Oklahoma State 35, Arkansas Tech 14. In the Team Clean broadcast booth, we will pause for one minute before we come back to wrap it up. Wonder Boys lose. This is Arkansas Tech football. Back with you in the Team Clean broadcast booth at Thone Stadium at Burkle Field in Russellville, where the Southwestern Oklahoma State Bulldogs have defeated the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys by a final score of 35 to 14. Let's take a look at the numbers. Southwestern, 422 yards of total offense, 259 of those passing, 163 rushing yards for the Bulldogs. Arkansas Tech, 334 yards of total offense, 270 passing, 64 rushing. The Bulldogs were penalized 14 times for 127 yards. Arkansas Tech, five penalties for 47 yards. Southwestern had 17 first downs. There were 21 Arkansas Tech Buffalo Wild Wings first downs today. 
to go along with the two Phil Wright Autoplex fireworks touchdowns for the Wonder Boys in this one. Five out of 13 on third down conversions for Southwestern. Arkansas Tech was seven of 18 on third down conversion tries. Taking a look down further at some of the other numbers, Southwestern Oklahoma State, three out of four on red zone scoring opportunities. Arkansas Tech, just one of four in the red zone. Southwestern had the football for 31 minutes and 42 seconds compared to 28 minutes and 18 seconds for the Wonder Boys. Turnovers were even at two apiece. Arkansas Tech had seven tackles for a loss, including two quarterback sacks. Southwestern had six tackles for a loss, including one quarterback sack. Individual leaders for Southwestern Oklahoma State, Casey Freeman, 10 of 15 passing for 218 yards and two touchdowns before he left early in the third quarter due to injury. In his stead, Tyler Marr was three of seven for 41 yards and a touchdown. Kedron Banks, 16 carries, 86 yards for the Bulldogs. Jaden Knowles, 16 carries, 42 yards and a touchdown. And Jared Rayburn had five catches for 63 yards and a touchdown for the Bulldogs. J.R. Omiji and Alex Ramirez also made a touchdown reception here today for the Bulldogs. And Clay Wilkerson had a 57-yard interception return for a touchdown late in the fourth quarter that set what proved to be our final score. Southwestern's defensive leaders included Jacob Rodman and Gerald White with eight tackles apiece. For Arkansas Tech, quarterback Manny Harris completed 26 of 49 passes for 270 yards and two touchdowns. Brian Allen, 13 carries for 55 yards. Allen also made four receptions for 64 yards. Landon Smith, four catches, 49 yards. And Tramel Glasper, five catches for 41 yards for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys led defensively by K.J. Reed, who had 12 tackles today bringing his career total to 272. Kristen Trammell added eight tackles for the Wonder Boys, and DJ Williams had six tackles as Southwestern Oklahoma State won it by a final score of 35 to 14. They go to three and five. The Wonder Boys fall to two and six with three games remaining in the 2018 football season at Arkansas Tech University. We look to Kelly Davis for any final thoughts. Well, we'll see what the uh, the temperature is when we go to Durant, southeast Oklahoma, losing today to Henderson State. So see if their dauber is still down next weekend. Maybe we can take advantage of that. But it's been such a beautiful day, great time, homecoming. You always like to win your homecoming football game, but it didn't happen today. But we want to thank, oh, what a great crowd.